All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, today we're going to do some CP and we're going to try and get some uh, more Chironic gloves. Uh, reason mostly being um, I got a really good augment on my last pair, so I pretty much need a new one at this point. I got some refresh on the Chironic feet, I think, as well. If I recall correctly. Yeah, refresh plus one, which is decent. It's not super great, but it's the only re uh, refresh option for uh, feet, pretty much. Ideally, I'd have plus two, but I, I should definitely try to get gloves first, because either plus one or plus two is better there. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Good morning, Jubei. <laughs> Let's uh, check out our delivery box real quick first. Damn, it didn't sell. All of the Beastman medals didn't sell. That sucks. I'll get them all out and I'll uh, get them to one character though. So I'm fairly sure... Yeah, I'm Sparks capped. I can uh, make some money now. So down this guy as well. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Spam that flag while you can, boy. <laughs> nah, I ain't, I ain't uh, gonna mess with that. Let's invite everyone here. I think it's our one that got the uh, other medals, so let's trade him real quick. There we go. Oh, I also has an astral sword for some reason. I'm uh, just gi giving them all to one single character. It makes it a little bit easier to know how many I have. Would be nice if those uh, beastman medals sold though. There we go. Let's go do our mock garden real quick. So, yeah, the uh, Chironic uh, gloves are pretty easy to get. The NM for that is not very hard, so I'll just uh, give it a solid go. Should also check out. Which uh, domain invasion is going on now? I want to know if it's if it's forty points. If it's forty points, it's definitely worth doing. Thirty points, like worth doing on one character if you can get the kill uh, kill move, pretty much. But uh, other than that, it's like mm. I wonder when these are done. I didn't actually uh, check out what the date of my halfway mark, pretty much. Would have told me when uh, I'm done with these. I could still revival tree root them as well. I have a few stacks of them, so I could hurry it up. I'm not in a hurry for that right now, though, because I need to get it, go here for the adamantoise feeding anyway. I don't have any. Rip. Let's get some then. Uh, buy or sell things. Not sure how long it takes, so I'll just do this. Azita Haka down, 776. Not quite sure if that's uh, 40 points or not. 
Oh, we got another memento. Very nice. Let's see, probably a met, right? Yeah. Very cool. Let's go talk to this guy on wet. Get that cheer going. Very nice. Cool. Let's get out of here. Um, it's Naga right now. I think I'll do a Naga. I think that's worth it. Uh, let's see. Put on this main screen, since the other ones are pretty much support characters right now. How many medals do I actually have? Seven, Jesus. Imagine playing an MMO by yourself. I paid to win, uh... To play an MMO alone on a dead server to simulate single player offline Keck W. I mean, if they actually released a single player offline version of this with infinite characters you can make, I would 100% play that. And I think most people would, to be honest. <laughs> I would love that. Imagine all the add ons you could use. Oh my god. Without getting banned, that is. <laughs> I like how we have a hierarchy in our chat. <laughs> Feels good, man. You can tell it's way less uh, crowded in um, the main invasion right now. Because of the lower amount of points. I play 14, that's even worse. Like, multi boxers can have friends, 14 players can't. Nobody wants to be friend with a weeaboo. Two more people here. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Uh. <laughs> oh, right. I actually have that cape. I should probably do something with it, huh? What drops this? Runner earring. A barrel of laughs? Oh, it's an Adulin one. They're all path earrings, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> Knocked those standing, just hit bottom. <laughs> Feels bad, man. What do you mean, just hit bottom? It's common knowledge at this point, right? I mean, look at the amount of emblems Jubai has in comparison to Nocto. Damn, dude. <laughs> because we all uh, value our self-worth with uh, Twitch emblems, right? I know I do. I just found out he plays 14. Does he multi-box it? Your 
here, buddy. I'll, I'll give you one emblem. Nobody should have zero. That's just sad. <laughs> He's like, huh. <laughs> I was looking at my warrior's gear yesterday again, and I was like, God damn it, <laughs> I really want to play it. Feels horrible, man. I need to still do all of the relic gear on the warrior, though, so it, it misses a lot. Because I pretty much quit warrior when relic came out. I'm practically free content for you, true. I don't know why I keep reading your messages out loud as well, but it's, it's very hard not to for me, you know. <laughs> They're so carefully crafted. <laughs> I do like them though. I think that's like one thing what I, what I don't get for people uh, betting chat members that are memeing around, you know. It's like it's it's basically just good fun, right? I just don't understand why you wouldn't want to have that on the chat. Like what's the point of streaming at that point? Feels weird, man. Oh we have something different for that now, right? Rear champ. I never really use rear champ, it just feels fucking rear champ to me. See how many do I need? Sixteen. Okay. Nineteen's better though. I'll go for nineteen. I am just here to be quiet and lurk and be a good chatter, not a meme. <laughs> Man, that sounds like a boring ass chat. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Juba, exactly. Overruled by the Sandorian flag. The good old empire of Sandoria. I don't even know if it's a country or an empire or whatever. I actually have no idea. It feels like an empire. Let's see. City? No, it's a kingdom. Of course it's a kingdom. They have a king. <laughs> Multiboxing ho. Hmm. <laughs> of course it's a kingdom. I guess the only empire in this... Wait, what's Bestock then? A settlement? It's a settlement. Oh, it's a republic. Ugh. What's Windurst? A federation, that's even worse. Ha, <laughs> dump! <laughs> I like it. <laughs> June is a duchy. And I think... Oh, yeah. Uh, Atangan is the empire then. Republic. What does republic even mean? Just means like it's a uh, republic uh, can only be a republic if it's like a chosen leader, right? Wiki, tell me what a republic is. It's a form of government in which a country is considered a public matter, not a private concern and a pro uh, or property of rulers. Republicans, duh. The primary positions of power within a republic are attained through democracy or a mix of a democracy with oligarchy or autocracy, rather than being unalterably uh, occupied by any given family li lineage or group. Yeah, so it basically has to... This guy just fucking sleep everything. So it basically has to um, be a chosen leader. Imagine not having enough faith in your leaders, that you have to choose one. High Mind Elfan plays right there.
It's kind of funny because if you look at the wiki page for Bastok, it says uh, the settlement of Bastok has been created to ward off uh, attacks on miners from the uh, Kingdom of Sandoria. Get bullied, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How long must this go on? <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, I got the kill again. Whoops. Poor Bastikans, man. All they do is mine. Feels bad. Matsus is alright. I am always impressed with the amount of fucking things you have. Uh, what's it called? Emotes. You actually have so many. Jubei as well. He has uh, quite a lot of them as well. Is Nudon uh, streaming as a Link Shell or as a person? Need to do this anyway. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> okay. I saw Ajin doing um, <clears throat> his mock garden yesterday as well. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Has to do it all over again. Is that mid beast? Mid b? All oh, right, I want to check this out. Nice refresh. I was wondering if we got a new refresh for seal. It was about time. Two head. I need a two head uh, or a three head command. I don't know what the next one would be, to be honest. I feel like I make enough three head plays for a three head uh, emote to be viable. Efficient emote right there. <laughs> Reinhard W. Uh, that's good. <laughs> Damn it. Made me chuckle. 
I don't know if that one's a good idea. <laughs> I say I don't want to get banned for Twitch, but I keep saying shit on my stream that... Like, I'm, I'm honestly surprised I'm not banned. I think if I actually had a public and people knew me, I would get banned for shit like that. Oh, we need to go there anyway, right? Oh yeah, shit, we do. Uh... I'll do that quest then, why not? <laughs> I kind of miss the uh, old days of uh, Hearthstone streaming, where all the salt was. Those were some good times. I didn't even like Hearthstone that much, but the streams were pretty fun. It's how uh, one of the biggest streamers uh, of Twitch got born as well, Forsen. Forsen the horse cock streamer. Alright, F4 pops. I have faith. Uh, let's see here. What's it called? Sangbuya. There he is. Let's give him a go. Wait. Uh, find all. Trip. Everyone has one? Alright. I like his, how is this, uh, oh, this is just an emoji war at this point. Who will win? Nobody knows. Oh, wow. What a shameless riff off of the Red IRL business. Shameless, I tell you. All right, uh, let's see here. Let's dummy it up. <clears throat> I still watch uh, League of Legends streams from time to time. I watch very easily. I haven't played a real game of League in forever, though. It's been so long. <laughs> what the fuck is that one? Oh my god, that's that's horrifying. That's some nightmare fuel right there. All right. Let's do it. Oh, fuck. Should probably put this up as well. Makes fight a little bit easier. as well alt weapon skill this guy doesn't really have that much he can kill me with I think I'll stop it once he uh, uses invincible should be about here I guess not there it is Now 
Ah oui, ouais. <coughs> Still getting ninjutsu skill ups, by the way. Feels endgame, man. <laughs> I never bother skilling it up. Oh, that doesn't even break my, uh. That's kind of nice, that doesn't even break my Utsu. Alright, let's see it. Valorous Mask. Yuck. That's not what we want. Alright, everybody follow. Let's go do quests real quick. Get you right? Yeah, alright. Uh, let's get some new trips and stuff as well. only have four bobs anyway, so I don't want to get a rat here. Oh, whoops. I think as for gain on it, should I get that on Paladin? Nah. I wouldn't want to use it anyway. There's a very high amount of uh, times that I'm not engaged. I don't want to engage. Uh, I don't want to tank in that shit. I'm fairly sure it's in my warrior idol set. A non-PDT one. I kind of wonder if uh, Malignant's Fall is used for anything, really. Except for the DT. It does have pretty high damage and accuracy and weapon skill damage. don't think there's something that uses it very well, though. Like, there's the Retribution, but the Ambu weapon is a lot better for it. How much plus does, give, does the Ambu weapon give? Let's see. Plus 20%, that's not that big. Base damage is lower as well. Oh, this might be better then. It does have mines plus 20 though. I really want to get Cat Fenga. That's a fun weapon to AoE with. I have to make some rules in my XML for that, I think. For uh, when I impact. It needs to equip the right occult acumen weapon, but it also needs to keep that thing equipped until I use a uh, weapon skill. 
So I need to make a when TP is above 1000 rule, I guess. I think that would be pretty decent, yeah. I'd never want to impact the Malignant's pull anyway. Like, there's no point in it. It's pretty shitty for magic accuracy, if I recall correctly. Yeah, plus 215, that's not that good. I missed my one hit, 100 points. That was nice. I miss it so much, man. I really need to do Ambuscade. Ugh. Yesterday was such a clusterfuck. We tried so hard, but it was not good. That was not a good time. I think Sandro actually got triggered yesterday. I know I did. That's awkward. <laughs> that if I got the kill, whoops. <laughs> well, Geo got the kill, that's fine. At least you get some extra points. That means I don't have to do another one at least. I'm only missing out on 20 that way. I'm okay with that. Still earning 21k Matsus, that's not too bad. Nice little auto weapon skill here.
I'm charmed. I'm gonna hit ya. I'm gonna hit ya. <laughs> Uh, I love being charmed. It's great. Feels funny, man. I'm actually super fucking tired today, by the way, so if I don't talk that much, that's uh, probably why. Oh fuck. That's why I'm uh, mostly going to chill out today. I'll try to do some ambu as well, but most of it's just gonna be CPing, I think. Nice and brainless. Plus, it's still my monthly goal, so I wanna get on it. Hey, kitty. She's cute. Uh, she's being nice. got the key item so we should be able to uh, go to 9 here let's try and get those gloves Really weird buff order, but I'll take it. Stand out of the way just in case we need heating. There we go. Bubbles, good start. Have 
to wait here, so may as well debuff him a little bit. Let's go back a little bit so he's inside the bubble. There we go. Very cool, another Valorous Mask, exactly what we don't need. So nice how empty it is here at number 9. Usually this is uh, pretty much packed with uh, people. What can stay out of range entirely, just in case. This guy is uh, and par and paralyzed as well, just like me. serious. Well, since this is the annoying one, it has to drop, right?
damn it. That should take hate. There we go. Another Valorous Mask, are you serious? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, this guy's so annoying. Alright, last pop. I have to get more. Okay. as well. Except it trying to get some Chironic gloves here, but they're not dropping. <laughs> Since I got uh, 9 weapon skill damage on my other ones, kind of have to at this point. Wendy. Good morning, man. Alright, let's try. Surely this final one will uh, give me the drop that I desire. Levy isn't dead, it's sparsely populated exactly how I like it. I'm saying dead because uh, it kind of feels dead, but it, I like it too, so don't worry about it. In comparison to us, it's dead, and that's where I'm from. Oh fuck, I got slapped on this guy too, that's actually bad. Um, is this guy slept as well? Oh, I guess we're sleeping. <laughs> Can't really do anything against this. Kultada is just tanking now. I thought I was out of range on uh, Bart. I guess I wasn't. Oh yeah, I'm definitely not out of range. Rip. That's fine. Born on Ramora wouldn't be on Levy if the merger didn't happen. I don't even remember what my first server was. I've had like five servers, so if not six. I was on the Diabolos and Siren, that's what I do remember. I've been on Asura during the 119 era, that's what I... Oh my god, did he just fucking did do it again? What a cock. <laughs> oh, that Paralyze is pretty rough, huh? That's alright, we can kill it.
invincible again. Damn it. I've, uh, I've had my fair share of servers. I like this one the most so far. There's all people who want me yet to go back to uh, Asura, but I can't do it pretty much. Yeah, that's fair enough. Like, I'm. These are all pretty new accounts. They're like nearly four months old now. But they are from completely scratch, so. Like there's a lot of stuff that uh, that I have to do if I don't have anything at first. Oh fuck, I forgot the lot. Whoops. Chironic gloves. The prophecy. Yay. Let's do it like this. Uh, let's trade this guy real quick. I can finally augment him. Yay. But yeah, I, I highly prefer this. It's uh, it's nice and quiet. And after the whole drama thing on Asura, it's exactly what I want. It's not even personal drama. It's like jump drama in general that I got sick of. So much of it on there. Right, let's warp out. I got uh, some pretty good ones uh, this month. I got weapon skill damage plus 8, magic attack bonus plus 35, magic accuracy plus 20 on a Herkfest. Which is uh, very ideal for hybrid weapon skills. It even beats my augment for uh, Blade Metsu as well, though. And for Savage, it's uh, best in slot 2. So I'm very happy with that one. I also got weapon skill damage plus 9 on Chironic Gloves. I wasn't planning on doing Battle Bard, but that does make me think, like, hmm, <laughs> maybe I should. Because that is a really good augment for it. And some uh, TH and everything, because I didn't have any TH gear, pretty much, so all of that is welcome, too. Getting TH4 on every job is quite nice. I think those are the Herc gloves in my safe, right? Oh, that's a Phalanx plus 5 one. Yeah, I got Phalanx plus 5 Herc uh, gloves as well. I don't use them at all, but it's quite nice. Maybe for the future. If it wasn't Herc fast, I wouldn't have, uh, have to show off. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. I prefer mine, to be honest. For Savage, that's definitely better, though. That's for sure. I like the uh, magic attack bonus plus 35 on the Herc Vest because that, that is so much. Yeah, I can imagine that. That's really good for it. Once every blue moon I hear people uh, still playing Thief and I'm like, oh wow, they still exist. <laughs> Gonna get that for now. I'm gonna augment over that. Um, let's see, we only have a few more augments to go here. Three more. Looking for a refresh plus here. Phalanx receive plus two. It's not even good though. I don't think I'll keep that. Oh wait, actually that might be good. I don't think Telchine can get Phalanx received plus. I'll keep it then. 
Why not? There we go. I'm fairly sure I have some stones to burn here as well, so may we may as well. Um, what the fuck is this even? Oh, it's those things. If only these augments were as easy as uh, the skirmish ones. I should open these and trade them. Well, every character, actually. It's a lot of lost room if I keep them. There we go. I don't really have anything to do with my Dusk Dims anymore, so at this point I'm probably going to sell them. Where are they at? There they are. Give all the tops to this guy, I don't want to use those on here, so there's no use for them. I have so many skirmish stones, it's actually crazy. Uh, Phalanx Plus, um, I'd love to have some more Phalanx Plus on my Paladin, but I'm not really getting them on them. Uh, other than that, for Scholar, and uh, it's really nice as well. Which is why I'm keeping it on the Chironic Gloves. I'm still going to augment over it. Phalanx Plus 2 isn't that good I anyway. Like, it's not worth keeping that much. Um, okay, let's trade those stones to this guy real quick. Mostly the Pelicids. Might want to go for better Chironic uh, pants here. I think I'll do that. I'll go for the better Melinic Shalwar first with Ferns, and for the Pelicids, I'll use the Chironic pants. I need to trade my Ferns to do that, of course. Oops. There they are. But yeah, this. Um, if you type exclamation point jobs, you can see what uh, job, uh, which jobs are on which character. All right, that's a ferns here. Don't have that many anyway, so I'm just manually doing it. That's shit. That's shit. That's actually pretty decent, but oh, it's not. It's on pants actually. That's not decent at all. 150k for a savory shank. That's pretty cheap, right? Might do that one. Hey, Gwendy. <laughs> there he is, man. There we go. Give him a wave back. Uh, nothing great either. Alright. I don't. Uh, I think this is a bust. Yeah. I'll uh, try to get some better Chironic uh, pants here. Find Chironic. Uh, let's see. Gloves, slippers, hat, hose. That's the one I want. For now, I'll uh, get these in here. And I'll get these in here as well. Where 
Where the fuck are they? There they are. Uh, by the way, if you feel like doing CP or whatever, let me know. I'm uh, about to head out for CPing. I think it was healing I wanted to do, right? Need to check this real quick. Osim, Elther Kurian, Chironic. Yeah, healing. Palace and Stone. I already have uh, magic accuracy plus 32 on these. Uh, I want to get higher though. The match uh, maximum magic accuracy is plus 40 if I recall correctly, and that's the only set I'm interested in. It's actually a really high magic accuracy piece. It beats uh, AF even for Enfeebles. And it's best in slot for Enfeebles anyway, so it's quite nice. Alright, that's fair. I mean, if you don't want to, that's completely fine as well. I'm cool with it. It's more of a thing like, I, I know I'm going to in a bit anyway, so if you want to tag along, you can tag along. Well, that's an upgrade, plus 33. Uh, Let's go for the plus 40 here, though. After that, I'm going to start augmenting my Merlinic fans again, since they only have magic accuracy on them right now. Along with the uh, 10 uh, magic burst bonus, of course. Actually, some mind plus would actually be really good. Int plus would be really good as well here. Not as good as magic accuracy, though. Like, the potency of your Enfeeble means nothing if you can't land it. So it's like a uh, cherry on top, pretty much. Oh, wow. That's insane. Without a gap? Jesus. That's crazy. I've had plenty of gaps. I still love the game to death, but I've had so many gaps. This silence. Ugh. It's only plus two as well, which is halved against the nerves, so that's kind of funny. I think I found the uh, most useless stat. <laughs> that's a high magic attack bonus roll. Yeah, I need to get some like somewhere in that ballpark. I would love to get that plus a stat as well, but getting the magic accuracy plus 40 is my first goal. Need to be able to land them sleeps, yo. That's an upgrade, plus 33 instead of plus the 32. I need to change it in my uh, XML here though. Rip. Okay, cool. Well, we gave it a go. It's quite nice for Bard as well, that piece. Depending on the uh, occasion, of course. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess CPing then. I need to do a quick 15 CP before I start the real grind though. Eat the next gift here. I need 19 points for it, I think. Um, there was something else I had to do first. Can't really remember what, though. Well, probably not important. Oh, I should actually check that. That's a good idea. I'll check my coalition real quick. Yeah, that's pretty good. Either Mind Plus or Int Plus is good there. Int Plus is uh, nice for the extra magic accuracy as well. The Mind Plus for the extra potency. I'm doing pretty well. How is it going over there in Asura? I'm still contemplating... Uh, Redoing my main. Uh, I have eight. Ah, fuck it, I'll wait a day. I haven't logged on, to be honest. 
We're playing 14 right now. Like a filthy casual. Not playing anything. <laughs> Is that why you're in chat? <laughs> Feels uh, wasted time, man. Think of all the experience you could have gotten on RuneScape. I'm so bored. Come to Leviathan, dude. We can meme. We can meme around. My older LS leader facepalmed when I made Murglaze. Why? Murglaze is cool. Nobody can tell me otherwise. I've played Red Mage a lot in the past when it was still considered bad. And Murklai's, uh, I never got to make it, but it was my next mythic goal until I picked up another job instead. I really wanted to make one. Spending 100 mil plus on Red Mage at the time. I don't see that as a bad investment. Red Mage has always been semi good at least. It's either in a great st uh, great spot or a good spot. It's never been in an absolutely horrible spot. It always had use. Um, all right. I guess we're just CPing then. I'll start with some uh, fifteen points, then warp out. Four ten at teal four. Yeah, it's just never. Well, it was meta for quite a while at 75. That's a long time past. Even in Abyssia, it was really good. It got CDC, which is a crit weapon skill, so... Yeah. Well, I mean, it was still decent. It, was, it wasn't meta for sure, but it was definitely decent. I think the first step in the right direction for Red Mage was uh, Relic uh, plus 3. Because every piece of Relic plus 3 is uh, useful for Red Mage. They got a lot out of that. That's some good fucking gear right there. Sabo buff was the by far the best thing that happened to Red Mage for sure. I agree with that. I'd even go as far as to say it did not need that at all. <laughs> I do not agree with Sabo buff at all. Sabo's insane. It was the oh yeah, I, I agree with you. I'm not disagreeing with you there at all. It is so fucking strong. But it did not need that at all. I think for Red Mage, the Sabo buff is the thing that made it busted instead of being good. That's what I think. Because that's the thing that lets you skip all those mechanics. I guess it's a combination of that and the enfeebling uh, duration plus gear. Because they got a lot of enfeebling duration plus gear in the last uh, few years. And as a scholar, I'm jelly of that. <laughs> Dying D and seeing end spell damage hit for 1600 magic creep uh, mobs is fun. Yeah, I can imagine that. That's only that's only on par though. Like Crocea Mors is w one of the best things that happened to Red Mage as well, but it made them on par with other DDs. It's not the thing that makes them absolutely busted. I think Saboteur is uh, does that because hitting for sixteen hundred on Magic Weep mobs is like it is fun, but on physical meek mobs you're hitting way harder on an actual DD with auto attacks. So it doesn't even. Like that that's not even the difference.
I think Crocaea Mars is really fucking strong. Like, it is definitely a little bit overtuned. Nagling, I agree with, yeah. Nagling is really good. And Red Mage is a good Nagling user because it has low uh, base attack as well. Nagling gives them that ton of extra attack. Like, that's the one fucking weakness Red Mage had for a long while. Are these guys still AFK? I hope so. Would be nice if they are. And if they aren't, they can... Uh... I think it's being able to accuracy cap without uh Thib that is more busted. Our party is full, may it isn't. You're with two people. Also, you're killing insanely slow, so I'm just gonna camp over you then. I ain't being bullshitted by some Japanese guy, fuck that. In terms of DPS aspect, Malignance broke Red Mage more than Krokea Morse did. Yeah, I think Malignance is definitely a big part of the problem. It's not just DPS as well, it's just not being able to die anymore. Which is pretty insane. How the fuck are they killing slower than a ninja? Well, we're taking it. I really don't like the uh, existence of malignants. I mean, that's the point for me as well. I don't like playing meta jobs all that much. This is like generally known already though. <laughs> I mean I played Dancer for God's sake. I'm gonna redo my macro here. Oh that's already that. Fine. I think light hits these harder, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Leave slash black mage. I thought it was a uh, thief slash bard for TH proccing. Yeah, I was about to say, is there no nobody else who can pick up the slack sometimes? Because that sounds boring if you only play that. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep camping here. These guys kill super slow. I mean, if, even if there isn't, it's not fun being the TH for every single time. Yeah, I was about to say, that's just... that's just shitty.
think I have those things. Set magic attack in the fury. Me repeat cycle 120 repeat start. Let's do one indie manually here. Oh, we're out of mobs. Well, that's on them. Their party is full with two people apparently. I was uh, planning on going uh, Red Mage, by the way. I just didn't want to do it because it's fucking super meta now. Which is a like dumb reason, I guess, but I just don't like playing uh, jobs that break the game. Never really played Summoner either, so... Yeah, that definitely sounds like your fault. <laughs> I think that's like a general thing though. If someone takes hate by you, by doing a really fucking big weapon skill and closing a skill chain and everything, if you get hate during that, that's not your tank's fault ever. In my opinion. Because you have to, like, even if the tank is not that well geared or whatever, you have to take that into account. I don't feel like that's uh, the tank's fault at all. Unless there was a paladin because he could have covered you. Yeah, I don't agree with that, uh, Shirai. Because that is, if you're a best in slot tank, sure, right? But if you're not a best in slot tank, you can't fucking do that. So you need to take that into account as well. If their tank did have best in slot though, then yeah, it's probably his fault. Even mediocre tank. No way. Like I can I can do that in regards to my other characters, but I can't do that for someone spamming 99k Seraph Blades for sure. There's no way. No fucking way. Yeah, but even if I spam every single job ability I have, I am not going to be able to uh, get hate from someone spamming 99k seraphs. No, but even if I use literally everything in the tank's arsenal, I can't do that just because of my gear. I don't have the plus enmity for it. That's what I'm saying. Like, even if I did. Like, I know how to keep hate in the long run, but in the short run, it's pretty much a numbers issue. I mean, I am a paladin, so yeah. Fair enough. 
Because for Paladins, like, you pop Sentinel, uh, as soon as you get H, you pop Sentinel first for the Enmity Plus, and then you spam literally everything else. And if you can't hold hate at that point, it's definitely not your fault. And you shouldn't even be doing that in the first place, because in the long run, that screws you over. They are with two people, and that guy is using Nagling to rat combo, and it looks like a teamer, right? They're with two people, and they're killing way slower than me for some reason. And they still don't want to team up, I don't understand that. It's literally a free Geo and a free Bard. Why wouldn't you? Racist ass Japanese people. Makes no sense to me. It's just weird to me, man. Yeah, but that says a fully geared rune fencer for the last, like, what? Three years? Four years? I think three years is fully geared. So that's a that's like a way different uh, perspective as well. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. Yeah, I know, I'm not saying you need an EPO as well. And I'm not saying it's a pure gear issue, but it definitely can be. And let's be honest, the um, EPO is not going to fix that on its own. It's about the rest of your gear too. Like, in general, I don't really have that much trouble in Paladin, but when someone really goes ham, it's very hard to keep hate. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, like, there's plenty of people who don't have uh, optimized gear at all. Myself included on Paladin. It shouldn't. They should die before it. I agree with that. But I'm guessing this is on a... Uh, not on a normal mob, because Red Mage can survive some normal mobs really easily. I'm guessing this is like a wave 3 NM or something like that. Oh yeah, I know that. It's because they hit semi-hard as well, depending on which one. So you still have Amity Loss as well. For a regular TD, that is. For the Paladin or Rune Fencer, obviously not. They don't lose that much enmity on those. Yes, it was, yeah. I mean, it's Rat Mage, right? You have to... <laughs> you have to remember how fucking sturdy a Rat Mage can be if they want to be. Well... I have a counter-argument to that, that you can't really argue with, and that's this month's Ambuscade. <laughs> I can guarantee you that hate gets kept on those. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I know that's cheating, but still. <laughs> I had to say it. Yeah, again, it depends on the tank.
Fucking hate that Ninja doesn't have any distortion weapon skills. Super annoying. I mean, if you are tanking wave 3, you're probably geared in any way, right? Yeah, true. That's true. I agree with that. <laughs> That's your Augusto. Alright, he's an old man. We don't talk about him. <laughs> I remember that guy. He was funny. He was funny when you, uh... But you didn't really care about getting wins anyway. Otherwise, he was very annoying. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was a cute noob, though, let's be honest. I didn't mind him in my parties because he was funny. No? You didn't like him, huh? I guess it's someone else that I have in my mind then. Oh shit, really? Lamau. I mean, still a noob. Yeah. It doesn't really matter how many re Ramas you have, that's just a money issue. It's like how many times have you bashed your head against the wall? Congratulations, it's a lot. It doesn't provide a good player at all, in my opinion. I'd even argue to get to go as far as the b the best players can do with the minimum amount of gear, because gear makes a lot of uh, mechanics obsolete. We sure are less leader. Dippity. <laughs> I, uh, I haven't really heard from him at all. I guess he's Leviathan player though, so that makes sense. Try teaching you to play. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, that's, that's just annoying then. I hate it when someone who plays poorly is uh, trying to teach someone else to play. It's the worst. I think I have enough, right? Alright, I'm warping out here. <laughs> Look over skill over gear. I'd say skill over luck still though. Like the way I see it is this, if you if you are a skilled player but you're unlucky, you you die, right? But if you're an unskilled player and you're lucky, you you'll die as well. Like, you have to have some amount of skill to be able to do anything. Yeah, that's what I think as well. If you don't have skill, you're gonna die anyway. It doesn't matter how lucky you are. Uh, this one should give me my next job gifts. Nice. Three points over. Perfect. Just get to drop forehead. I haven't really done that on the um, scholar yet. Repeat stop. I'm gonna warp out for a little bit. I lost Lot and Omen Body to person on their first run with us. That's where Luck failed me. I mean, look, the Omen Body, like, that, that shit sucks, but the Omen Body is not gonna make you a much better player than a skillless person. In the argument of Luck versus Skill. You can have all five Omen Bodies and still be a shit player. Alright, 
Um, I'm thinking about trying Lilith here. I'm not sure if it's something I can do in Scholar already. What's the uh, what's the best way to do Lilith on Scholar? I've lost Lothan's Jamash rope five times. We've never seen that rope. Do you actually have it now? Since you saw it drop six times and you lost Lot five times, that means you have it, right? Yeah, it's Pyrohelix for now because I can't Lumino. So how did you see it six times? But you lost five times. Oh, okay. Why'd you pass it? That was the one, dude. Those leeching cards. <laughs> hey, that's a nice, uh, nice buddy you got there, yoink. <laughs> uh, man, I'd be fucking angry, holy shit. <laughs> uh, that's funny, though. What's uh, that phantom gem called again? Oh, wait, I need to change jobs. I wonder if I can get away with TH8 here. Like, tank it on ninja, maybe? Uh, let's see here, Muet, change job, main scholar, sub red mage. Uh, we have no geo this way though. Can, is, there, is there a way where a trust is enough for tanking uh, Lilith? You will when you accidentally lose them. <laughs> trust work? Okay, I can probably TH8 then. Uh, which trust? I'm Choo Choo? Oh, I need two. I don't have Archangel Elvan yet. Uh, Geomancer, Red Mage. A tank up to D. Well, I'm planning on doing like easy. I can pre buff them with shell, that's no problem. I'm a scholar, so I was going to do that anyway. All right, let's uh, let's give that a go. Shall I start with very easy or, or easy? What do I start with? <coughs> I'll try it very easy, yeah. Yeah, I don't really have that good gear on this guy anyway, so it's probably a better idea. Uh, PCMD leader Muet. This guy is ugly, so we're going to change him in this. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's give it a go. Oh, is it? Huh. Maiden of the Dusk. Very easy, definitely. So I have to use two tanks here, or is it like? Oh fuck, oh, that was loud. Apparently, uh, auto transport isn't on yet. Uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, they can't get charmed, so that's not the problem here. How did you farm it then? I could use Argus, but he weapon skills a lot. He's kind of annoying. Rogue Jean, maybe? I'll try Rogue Jean. 
you're on the run then. Very cool. <laughs> I mean, can't really blame them. <laughs> uh, I don't really like Anchor that much though, so... You're in luck, you can uh, watch me cry as well. Alright, um... I guess I'm gonna stay in Storm the entire time, so may as well. Don't really care about Atlo here, I think. I do care about Haste. 20 minutes, killing all three Sprite Wardens on VD. <laughs> Feels bad. Was that on the solo Rat Mage? I think Rat Mage can solo this, right? Uh, that's with all your characters. That makes sense. Alright, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, should put them here. You lose merits, yeah, pretty much. I have plenty of them, so that's not really the problem here. Alright. Uh, this is kind of awkward. You want to stand there. The, uh... Blaze of Glory, Geo Malaise. Ecliptic. And a skill chainer. I forgot to AoE reach and whoops. For some reason that spell didn't go off. Not sure why. Oh well, I guess it did. We take those. 14k. It's pretty nice. Ouch. Um. I can just use the rest to, uh... Oh, that's actually really easy, yeah. <laughs> wow, she takes a lot of fire damage. Didn't expect that. Let's try that again. This is so chill in comparison to the other thing I was doing. Oh, that was a resist. Rip. Yeah, Helix is still on. This is actually so chilled out. I like this. Alright, let's get them a uh, daybreak drop to make this even easier. Nothing? That's not what I paid for. I'm angry now. <laughs> oh, daybreak is insane. It's uh, insane for Scholar as well. It's strong as fuck. Alright. Uh, was it this guy that had it? Yeah. I have a macro for that shit. I should probably make sure that I have room as well. I'd still use it on... Um, on Lumino Helix. Even if you get a resist, I don't think Mythic is doing more damage there. Plus 50% is fucking huge. Apart from the massive magic damage it has as well. 
This is so chilled out. And it's DH8 as well. So I know how to farm Lilith now, yay. I mean, there's plenty of mobs that uh, are weak to light. And even if... Um, so that's the weird part, right? Say that something is 30% um, uh, weak against uh, distortion, right? But it's 100% against light, so it's like 30% extra. Even then, Daybreak is better. That's what's, what's insane about it. Like, even then, even exploiting weaknesses, Daybreak just beats it. Mostly because of the Kilmanus uh, offhand as well. Like, the only way it doesn't beat it is if you're getting hard resists. I still don't have the shield as well, though, so I still need to get that. Like, even, yeah, but even if, uh, say, a mob is 30% uh, uh, extra ice damage or whatever, even then Daybreak just, Daybreak just wins. That plus 50% is massive, and the magic damage on it is uh, higher than a two-handed weapon, which is, like, why? <laughs> it's already so good. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, you still have focalization, I guess, but it doesn't really carry it that far. Can you do... Oh my god, I fucking forgot to get that again. That shit make me, makes me startle, man. <laughs> Damn it. I'm just fucking procrastinating at this point, by the way. Alright, this time I'm actually going to regen, since I forgot that last time. Which is kind of dumb. Five minute haste, buggers. Uh, guess we're ready. Okay. Don't have it yet. What kind of scholar are you? I may as well uh, keep them here, actually. Uh, Blaze of Glory is on cooldown, so Geo Malaise Ecliptic, I guess. I could reset it before every fight, but I don't think it's needed. Very cool. It's Dia on Tenebra. We should be good here. The dagger is uh, slapped upon, in my opinion. I think it's really good. Still 10k helix, I'll take that. Let's uh, speed this fight up a little bit. Why is it their fault? I don't even know what they uh, think of it, and I frankly I don't really care either. I'm 
for a spell that didn't even go off. Feels bad, man. Just got it here. Twill the mask, plutons. Random stuffs. My inventory is full. Of course it is. Oh, I have a lot of uh, crystals for some reason. Let's get rid of those. Oh, I think I think I forgot to trade after I did my uh, mock garden. Probably means this guy has too many as well. I don't need to. Got lucky then. There we go. Find Twill. I don't even know who has it. Oh, this guy. Very cool. Let's go out. These finds aren't too bad this way. I wonder if I can do uh, easy. They all do spreadsheet warrior and assume every thief is going to be spamming like every other job. So they underplay fire run and just say twash and uh, TP bonus or some shit. I still use my R15 men though. I think most people on Asura would lose their shit if they see an R15 Mendo user. Uh, I would love to see that. It sounds awesome. Oh, before I get my fucking key item, I'm going to toggle auto transport because that shit startles me. I mean, what does she get on, on E, right? It's, charm is not an issue. Oh, that's quite nice, yeah. I think she gets impact on E. I don't... I feel like everyone thinks that way though. Everyone thinks their way is the best way. Which is why some people get very frustrated when someone doesn't listen to them. Even if they're wrong. I think that's part of the problem because you can spreadsheet warrior all, all you want. But unless you can actually prove something with it, it doesn't fucking matter. Everyone wants to be right. Everyone wants to be smart. DPS is never an issue, I agree with that. It's not gonna cost you a clear, it's just for fun. It doesn't. I'd rather use a safe weapon than a max DPS weapon. That's why I like Dancer. If my white mage is utterly terrible, but at least he's shell rat, I can pick up the slack of them. Alright, so on easy, what does she get? Lilith. How do you spell Lilith? That way, okay. Uh, fuck, that's a lot of information. Uh... That's so annoying. Why is it so much information? I think spreadsheets in general are just bad because it's not simulating anything. You can use simulations which are a lot better. Do you want my own wiki on mobs? Why not? More information is better, unless it's about Lilith, because this is a lot of information. I don't, know, I don't want to read it all. Damage and Entity Reset. Oh, deal says 37% on very easy and easy. It doesn't change to uh, normal, until normal. According to Wiki, that is. Dread Spikes is no issue, right? Like, they're not even hasted. The, uh... 
the tanks. Yeah, it says here, uh, subjugating slash doesn't go up on easy, it goes up on normal, from 37.5% to 75%. So it could be wrong. Give me all your mantles. <laughs> I don't own any. 50% on E. Let's, uh, let's just try it out. We'll see what happens. I don't think it's 37% on uh, E as well. I know um, player 2 got hit pretty hard on this monk uh, from that shit. That into impact killed him basically. He got three mantles from Spook. <laughs> Mate, what a legend. <laughs> the luckiest, dude. The luckiest. I wish I had your luck. We'll also offer this. Uh-oh. Should I be counter-offering? Going for my fourth right now. He's gonna have all the mentals, man. I think this is where I convert. If I can reliably solo VD Ambu next month, you want me to transfer over to get you some clears? Uh, yeah, I'd love that. I ain't saying no to that shit. I am on Leviathan. But uh, Shirai is on the Sura. I was actually pretty hyped for this month's Ambu because I thought it was an easy one, but it turned out to be pretty rough. Which is a shame. Because uh, I do actually have my pulse weapon for nagling, I just can't get nagling now. Yeah, it's just like, I, I got unlucky on one of them where we got close. It was very fucking frustrating. <laughs> it was actually very frustrating. There's not much you can do about that shit though, it just happens. It's like whatever. Yeah. I got triple reversals literally on pull. Like, that shit just sucks. Ouch. Right, I'm out of range. Blaze of Glory. Geo Malaise. I'm gonna make sure I do this right. Since this is a higher difficulty. Okay, every buff up that it should be up. Celix here. Dia on Tenebra. Uh, it's still a 14k, that's pretty good. Start nuking, I guess. Just speed things up. I can actually uh, make this fight a lot easier. You're on. Why are you standing on a guy, if you fucking idiot? I'm gonna keep this spelling here. Euron is an actual fucking dumbass. He's killing himself. He doesn't want to be in this world anymore. He's got one more nuke in here. Alright. There's a subjugating slash. Have to be careful here. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Let's keep this spelling. 
think at this point I want to start curing uh, Chu Chu as well. Just let the uh, thing kill it, the uh, helix. If it's still on, that is, which I'm not sure about. I think this kills it, right? Nice. Oh. Daybreak? Hell yeah! <laughs> we got it! Woo! Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, I'm, ooh, I'm very happy with that one. <laughs> I am very happy with that one. That's a drop I'm most excited about as well. Oh my god, that's fucking great. I love it. That was surprisingly easy. I mean, it is on easy, I guess, but... This was a lot fucking harder <laughs> with uh, meleeing. Can you check damage dealt for party members? I don't think I can. I have it turned off, if uh, I recall correctly. Just uh, damage taken, basically. <laughs> I wish I got me a man that gets as excited about me as Rain does for Daybreak. Oh, yeah, baby. I am very happy with that. That's gonna make Delph so much easier as well. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. Oh, that's a Dispel God as well. I need to probably shorthand that, right? Just like uh, with Impact. Oh, you wanna see the uh, Subjugating Slash? Hold on. There it is. It does look like one third. No, it's half. That's half, yeah. That's 50%. So, Wiki is wrong on that. It needs to be 50% on easy. I mean, we still handled it really well, so. Oh, baby. I need to get Kilvinus now. <laughs> Get your man that gets as excited for mantles like I do. <laughs> nah, it's it's fifty. That that's pretty much exactly fifty. Yes, twenty eight fifty six. Hold on. Twenty eight fifty six divided by two is fourteen twenty eight. It's 1437, so it did a little bit over half his health. A little bit over. Damn, no drop. Rip. God damn, dude, I need to kill this now. But it's it's 50%. You can just say it's 50%. It's a little bit over, but it's like... It's about 50%. I wouldn't say it's like 55 or whatever, because it's just not... Fifty dot two percent. So I think it's like a rounding issue at that point. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. We got a daybreak, buddy. Woo! <laughs> that was actually surprisingly doable as well. I felt like I need player needed player two for this, but scholar is safe as fuck, dude. Subjugating slash for ninety five percent of max HP. Just dodge it forehead. Yeah, but she she's meant to be like nigh impossible on VD. That's a thing, right? That's the uh, thing they were going for. Fuck. Now I have to do. <sighs> so I have to do. I have to get Culminus now. I'm not not quite sure how I want to do that. I don't like that one. One to be feared. 
It's the uh, Ultima Omega fight. I hate that fight so much. I think I can do it on end this way. <laughs> My wife uh, was like, you're coming to bed, I said, Spook ain't gonna camp itself. This man is living in 2003. I wish I was there, man. I'm not gonna risk N, I don't want to. I'm gonna keep doing this on E, it was pretty safe, pretty easy. Like, I think N is going to be majorly annoying, to be honest. Oh, that's what, yeah, that, I can't do that then. <laughs> There's no way. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at the magic damage on that, though. Plus 241. Academ uh, Academos has magic damage plus 217. It has more than a two-hander. So stupid. Daybreak is so fucking busted. And still, magic accuracy and magic attack bonus plus 40 as well. Why? Yeah, that mental is pretty good. Are you are you playing on Eden or are you playing on retail? Mm-hmm, I know. I will do Mythic eventually. Depends on how ham I, I go on it, I guess. God, I really wish I had a Culminus right now, but ju I just don't. Oof. Um, all right, we can we can try it, I guess. I don't even know if I have that Phantom Gem. Uh, feared one. Find all feared. I do. Okay. I like how it's uh, checked my random arts, my mains uh, thing as well now. Forgot about that. I don't play no private server crap. So why are you? Farming mantles. <laughs> Good on you, fam. I know, right? Fuck privates. I oh, fuck their drama as well. Because that's the worst part about private servers. I'm gonna try and do this fight the same way as I did Lilith just now. I'm going to the bathroom first, so I'll be right back. You know, since I creep myself. Alright, I'm back. Uh, so how are we going to do this? I guess just two tanks again. Does this guy have a hate reset move? I forgot. I think I want to do it on N, right? Uh, let's see. When does TH not uh, work anymore? Uh, 
Oh, okay, it has uh, use on N as well. I'll keep it then. Let's give this a try on N, see what happens. Yeah, it's uh, from Dion, it uh, doesn't work anymore, but for this it does. Yeah, this guy does hit like a truck. I think I want to use August here. August is pretty tanky, right? Don't think I'm Choo Choo is that good here. I don't even know, man. I'm just fucking summoning things. We'll see what happens. Is this guy weak to anything? I have no idea. Uh, I'll haste myself, I'll pyro storm myself, I guess. Glimmer form. Anything else? I guess for uh, AoE's sake, Blink and Stone Skin is pretty good. Alright, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go this way, all the way to the back, then hit it here. So I can stay out of range. Uh, blaze of Glory, Geo Malaise, Indie Acumen, very cool. Skill chain this guy. Let's see how much that did. Ooh, that's an ugly. <laughs> uh, that's a really ugly burst. Um. Lumino Helix maybe? Let's try that. See if that's better. I don't I know I have Daybreak day break and I should have used it, but I'll try it like this first. Well, that seems to do a lot of damage. Guess I should use Daybreak for this. Oh. I got resisted again. Rip. Maybe Nocto? Maybe. I'm just checking out helixes until I get a good one. That wasn't even a skill chain. Damn. I guess that's the way to go then. 
just a loop on a shoot at, at this point. Wait for Nocto Helix to come up again. There we go. God damn it. Keeps interrupting my skill chains. Cocksucker. I have one stratagem right now, so I can't do anything. I need to wait. Should have waited with the 3k one, I guess. Should probably do this. Keep him alive. I think I only need to do the first part. Yeah. I should only do the first part because uh, every time I have TP, he's gonna close the skill chain. And he does close with gravitation, so. In which case, what I need to do is this. Hope he closes it. Of course, this time he doesn't. Uh oh, that's that's bad. That's good. He's going rampant. Help. This guy to pile pitch me, but he's not doing it. Why is this rougher than Lilith? Okay, August, close this one, please. Oh, he completely resisted it this time. Damn. Ripper Rooney. Why is he resisting every spell? Oh, that's why. This uh, magic shield. I don't think I can uh, dispel that. Oh, and it's resist this spell as well. That's awful. <laughs> oh, time to slap him. Yeah, I didn't even realize. The game is mad at me now. It happens, dude. I think I want to redo uh, my buffs here. If I have time for it. I hope I do. Look, the Helix seemed to do pretty well, though, so let's uh, use that again. go. 
go. Got the H on them. Geo Malays. It's a clip like that as well. That's right. Particle shield, let's hope that's not magic. Looks like a magic shield. I think this guy is uh, strong to this though. Let's try Lumino Helix. See if that's better. Wonder if they sell FF11 figurines. I think they do. doesn't deal damage either. I guess I have to uh, melee this guy. Because that, that was literally no damage. I have two of them. There's the particle shield again. Time is it's it's a defense boost. I think I can dispel that. Oh, resist the dispel. Guess not. That was a decent one, I think. Right. Three K. I'll uh, keep it at that. Man, it actually deals no damage. It's funny. Really wonder if these guys have a magic resist to something or if it's just a bunch of the magic shields uh, not working with me. I honestly don't know. I don't really like the master trials that much, like the rewards at least. I think the thrill of getting one done is like the biggest part about it. I don't really like the skins that come off of them. It's just personal preference though, of course. Oh, that did damage. As in, it's higher than zero at least. <laughs> I have the feeling this is a magic accuracy issue as well though. Not even hitting my dispels, and I'm fairly sure I should be hitting those. Yeah, it's not happening. In the Master Trial, Ultima has minus 95% MDT. Wow. That's pretty insane. Yeah, probably. I'd say so too then. Let's make sure this guy lives. I did DI him, I think. We'll do it again though, just be sure. Now oh, we got him. Didn't get the drop though. That was horrible. <laughs> I should just melee this. Meleeing this guy is, is honestly not, not that bad. I just want to try it. Yeah, we got nothing. Um, take that, I'll take that. This one will take that, and this one will take those two. There we go. That was uh, painful. <laughs> that was very painful. I'll go a ninja this time and we'll try it that way. <laughs> Tropical crabs wear, yeah. 
I don't even think that's the issue though. That I don't think that would help me out. Let's see this guy. I've seen him shout so often already. So I'm I'm kind of curious if uh He's worth a shit. I think it's a cute noob instead, but we'll see. If he if he'll even have me, because I'm not sure. Last time I got rejected because uh, his party was full. Okay. Uh, I'm fairly sure he's Japanese as well. All right, let's try it. This is my first pickup group on this game, or on this server. Let's see how he does, I'm very curious. It's taking forever to invite though. There we go. Uh, I think we did, yeah. I know that's how I... I think I met Ezreal in a pickup group for Leviathan. And... I think I met you before I met Ezreal, actually. Now that I think about it. Fairly sure I met you first. I just remember carrying. Met in Crazy Friends. Yeah, that is that is before that. Because when I met Ezreal, I was already booted from Crazy Friends because one of their leaders was a fucking asshole. So I met you before I met uh, met Ezreal. Then Cripple. Yeah, it was Cripple. Of course, who else? Basically, he was like. Um, you have to uh, start doing this, and I was like, I think I was getting access to something, and I was like, no, I'm not going to do that, because I can't do that content now anyway, so I'll, I'll do it some other time, I'm just gonna set this out. And he was like, no, you're going to do this right now, and I said no, and he just kicked me. <laughs> so, yeah. And that was not an endgame at Link Shell, mind you, that was just a regular, friendly Link Shell. So I told uh, Kentax about it, who was leading at that time, and he was pretty much a spineless piece of shit. I told him I got uh, kicked by Cripple and the reasoning behind it. And he said, yeah, there's nothing I can do and blah blah blah, he's an officer after all. And he, he's leading the Link Shell as well. I was super salty about that. I was super salty about that, I'll never forgive him for that as well, because I actually had a really good time in that Link Shell, and it felt so fucking bad afterwards. Like, all the friends I made, and all the people I've helped as well, in that Link Shell, were just ripped for me in one fell swoop. I was very angry about that. That was not fun. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's on Kentex, that's not on Cripple. Cripple's an asshole, sure, but Kentex is a real asshole here, in my opinion. He should have stepped up, and he didn't. He could have re-invited me, that was, would not have been a problem. Everyone there wanted me back as well. Because I, I helped so many people out in that Link Shell. He did know how to say no, he said no to me. I told him I want to get re-invited because this is bullshit, I've helped everyone out, everyone wants me back. Like, what the hell is up with this cripple guy, right? And he just didn't. That's why I made haste, please, by the way, so... Like, all the money I made being a merc and everything, I was so fucking done with people at that time. So I, I decided just to start murking, making money, and fuck those guys. I always made them pay if they wanted some uh, 
piece of gear as well. I never did anything for free for that particular LS. I was very salty. The funny part being, there was a lot of people there <laughs> that couldn't get gear, th gear themselves, so they just uh, came to me for it. Shit was funny. It, w it wasn't an endgame LS at all, it was just a social. That's what's so weird about it. Yeah, they were decent. And I did like the people as well. I honestly did. There were a lot of nice people in that LS. And I don't I don't blame anyone uh, in the LS for, uh, for my kick or whatever, but I do blame Kantex for it. Because he could have reverted that very easily and he just didn't. That's on him. And there's no amount of uh, JSC neck plus twos that he can give me that will make me think otherwise as well. <laughs> because I know he's a rich fucking player and he keeps every everyone friends that way by just dishing out Gil. Pretty much, yup. I know, dude. It is what it is. But that's a Sura talk. We're in Leviathan now. I don't even know where they want to go, by the way. Let's see what our party setup is like, actually. Rune Fencer, Dark Knight, uh, Scholar. I'll take that. I remember, um, like, when that happened, Home Gang wasn't playing as well because I'm sure he would have re invited me. He was a psychola there as well. And I, I was really good friends with Home Gang, he was a good guy. Resolution Torque Cleaver ISMB. I'm completely fine with that. I should probably say I don't speak Japanese. If my ninja can AFK here, I'm completely okay with that. I would love that actually, but I think this is gonna be a. Uh, Oh, he's checking out where to go. It used to be like Kentax. I don't think he was a bad guy. I, I definitely got along with him until that point. It was just... Like, it's... It just happens sometimes where someone's in general a good guy or whatever, but he does one fucking action and shows his true colors. And you're like, okay, I'm fucking done with you. I don't think he's a bad guy, it's just... It's just that. It's hard to like someone who did something like that. <laughs> Whoa, Gates, Max, not go. This guy is trying for me, dude. He's actually trying to speak my language, I love it. I want to know where this ends up. I'm surprised they're actually trying to find a spot like this. Like, they're actually trying. Wasn't expecting that. I usually just go somewhere and I'll see which camp is taken, and if they are all taken, I'll just warp out. Do you think I was too soft when I let uh, Haste, please? Before Ezreal took over, of course. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah, it, that's that's what I think as well. Like, I didn't want I wanted people to have a nice time, but if someone stirred drama, I was very quickly done with them. <laughs> drama was a no go for me. 
That was an instant kick. I still want people to have fun though, I, d I didn't want it to be just like merc this, merc that, make maximum am amount of money. I didn't care too much about that to be honest. Even though it was a merc LS and I said it was a merc LS. So I guess that's like partly my fault in that aspect. Because if I say it's a merc LS and money is everything there, I should act like money is everything there. Seven thirty nine. Yeah, it's hovering around uh, seven hundred lately, which is an increase from uh, when I started playing. It used to be like uh, three hundred, four hundred during my hours. I do ma miss haste these days. They were good, right? I miss them as well. I actually do. It was really fun. It felt uh, it felt like us against the world, you know. Oh yeah, it is free login right now. You're right. I mean, it still hovers around 600 uh, outside of free login. Uh, I guess that's a 700 then. Makes sense. Right, we're just gonna go and uh, search something here. But that, that, that's what it pretty much felt like, because there was one other really big LS, the one uh, Brad Girl uh, ran. And they weren't really a Merc LS, but they were like our main contender for uh, customers, because they did Merc something and they had some pretty big Mercers in there as well. I think the be one of the best pickups we had um, for our Link Shell at the time was Captain Rafus. He was a good dude as well. I don't really know if he still plays, though. Yeah, I know that, I know that. You were, like, getting both. <laughs> Which is understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even a war. It was, like, it kind of felt like it sometimes, but it was, like, we just wanted to be better than them, pretty much. Because their LS had a lot of bad players. And bad players meant customers to us. That's a pretty decent one. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Man, that's what you get when you uh, try to please everyone, I guess. We were very competitive back then because we once like we had to make a name for ourselves, you know. We eventually did as well, so it was it wasn't in vain as well. I kind of liked that because it was very hype, but it definitely wasn't good for my private life. <laughs> you don't have anything to fight for anymore. Oh, it still happens today. Uh, you're just tired of it, I guess. That makes sense. You shouldn't. Like, why Why would you? The moment Cripple kicked me and Kentex didn't re-invite me was the moment I stopped caring about it. Because I was a pleaser as well. I could easily have made 100 mil per person in Crazy Friends LS if I actually asked money while it was in there. I've helped out so much, man. Alright, let's see uh, what they want to do. Calibog Dark, that's pretty good. Does he have anything to back it up? Not really. <laughs> I mean, he has, he's about the same gear level as me, I think. A little bit behind, maybe. But he's a Dark Knight, so he should pull ahead. And he has Utu Grip as well. 
think he's fine. Did he just perpetuance protect? He really wants to AFK. <laughs> One hour protect. Feels funny, man. <laughs> Poor guy probably ran out of silt, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're saying here, by the way, so... They do know I don't speak Japanese, I've already told them. I'm not gonna tell them twice. Alright, I guess I'll start uh, buffing here as well. My Protect on Red Mage is almost 90 minutes because of full duration gear. Yeah, but that's Red Mage and that's Composure as well, so that's different, right? It doesn't hit the same. Okay. Because Composure carries Red Mage through that shit as well. It gets so much duration from it. Oh, doesn't it? Damn. I thought I did because my, uh, like I have full enhancing duration gear as well. I'm missing one piece, I think, on uh, Scholar and I'm not getting one hour once. I do have it. I don't think that guy needs ballot, but I'll do it anyway before they get mad at me. of glory geo frailty there we go oh these are actually kind of annoying all the AOE damage here all right let's do it uh, repeat sets magic attack in the haste me repeat cycle under 20 repeat start in the haste Add on load skill chains. All right. Should be good here. That's kind of crazy. Not sure how that works then. I definitely prefer it if it was a bit further back, but I guess this is fine. That's all right. Let's cheer him on. Make him feel good about himself. Luckily it's still a Dark Knight and we all know how uh, good Dark Knights are. Why do I have the feeling he's hitting lower than I am? Feels weird, man. Yeah, if you're sleep pulling... Ugh. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I'm not gonna wait for him to uh, get DP, there's no reason for me to, I'll just finish this off myself, there we go.
We had someone that de leveled his job to not play it. I like him too, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, he's not doing anything, so... Okay. Close that one, I'll go through this one. There we go. Good job, buddy. This is a messy party. I love it. <laughs> it's been a while since I did anything with a pug, so I'm kind of happy with this. I think he wants to Demidation that, right? Yeah, you can do it. Come on, buddy. Not too late. Rip. He already missed it. Oh, he hit that after me, so I need to shun this. Oh, rip. I don't think anyone's using <laughs> the skill chains add on here, which is also kind of funny. Load, gear lock. It's like my songs are wearing in about one minute. Just gonna use this food. Want it to be a little bit faster at least. Is he gonna close that? He is not. Okay. All good. <laughs> I like this. Fully equipped bar drop all of their gear. Wow. I am done, I tell you. I mean, it's something you can just make different yourself if you want if you really want to. If you don't wanna be a tank, just don't turn up. As a tank, just turn up as something else and saying, I'm playing this, fuck you. I know that's like an unhealthy way to do it, but... <laughs> fuck that shit, right? I mean, I never really had to deal with that as much, because I... Uh, I played off-meta jobs anyway, so I played what I liked. I think player 2 said he's on a break at the moment. Uh, oh, he might be. He didn't tell me. Ooh, that's a nice resolution. I want more, more of those. His resolution is very hit or miss currently. No! Come back here! Scholar wants something to do. I can tell. Okay, I can go to the next one here. You got it right? Okay, you didn't got it. I'll close it then. Were you around when I was literally permatank for years? Yeah, you didn't play anything else on Runefencer when uh, we played, I remember that. Back then it seemed like it was by choice though. Like if you would have turned up on anything else, I would be fine with it. Almost halfway on my first master job. It's, uh, it's a lot easier after uh, 1355, that's the maximum amount of uh, job points you're getting. Use it. Okay, I'll do it then. He's missing skill chain like half the time, so I need to pay a little bit of attention, I guess.
if you're basically forced to play one stop non job, even though your favorite job uh, becomes unsure, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I wouldn't like that either. Then again, I, I just came on uh, whatever, because for me it's... Like, it doesn't make a difference on what I came as, where you're a dancer, they both fulfill the same role. So I just did whatever I thought was better, nobody really forced me. Then again, it also meant uh, that I didn't get as much party invites, because I only have one role. Still came on tank, yeah. <laughs> I think it's like a compliment to your ability as well, though. So there's that. Oh, Nitro's still not up. I was out of range for that rip. I don't think this guy's under bubble. Oh, I think he is, never mind. <laughs> what a penalty, yeah, true. I doubt it for fuck all, he's definitely not on Earth bubble here. I think then the bear doesn't have any mana anymore. Yeah. Time to convert and scatter white mage. Or the white mage is not gonna do anything, or a scholar. That's fine too. Come on, buddies. You guys have TP, you're just not using your weapon skills. I would take that every time someone would uh, give it to me. If I were like perma fucking bard, I would hate that shit. I'm not gonna bubble this guy because he is way at the wrong spot. Okay, and he's not going to the right spot as well. The other guy is better. Uh, place of glory. I don't like this spot for a bubble, but whatever. I don't want a bubble uh, to be down the entire time either. Better than the last one, I guess. As long as they go stand in range of it. Oh fuck, my songs are wearing. Whoops. It's my bad. to have MP, so... Oh shit. Probably should give my Geo some uh, MP as well. Main white mage for an event. I mean... You can just turn up on white mage and say, I'm white maging, fuck you guys. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Leftover pizza from yesterday, <laughs> yeah. Feels good. Oh, that's the wrong one, whoops, my bad. 
Oh, he might be. Yep, he is. <laughs> he is. I just want to do a pickup party at least once, even though it's literally slower than killing it solo at this point. I don't really care about that. He is, though. Feels funny, man. I had a feeling because that's the only guy I've seen shouted for a pickup group on this entire server. So I'm not really surprised. At the first uh, auction house recorded, Marcia's on Leviathan because our uh, main LS bar didn't have at the station. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's the easiest part as well. It's the reason my main doesn't have Bard geared, because uh, once I had it before, it was forced to be in all the time, so I decided, fuck it, yeah, it makes sense. I understand. I mean, it's kind of obvious why it's bad, you just slash Samurai, right? Pure damage dealing. I guess if your attack isn't capped, there's some merit to it, but. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to do this. Like, it's it's kind of rare that you uh, can actually join anything. Plus, lately I've been thinking, man, I, I wanna join a pickup group. That's been that's been literally three years since I did that. I should I should try that sometime again. So this is uh, the party that gets that out of my system for me. <laughs> I mean slash dark over slash warrior, I guess. But over slash samurai I'm not sure. Depends on your gear. Okay. Now, big dick resolution, let's go, do it. That did no damage. I should probably finale more. I feel like uh, part of the no damage thing is my fault, because I'm not finaleing often, or at all. <laughs> I mean, CPing is a longer drawn out fight, so it would be better here. Technically, it's not gonna get that. I'm just gonna do that instead. But it's like that's the same with everything in this game. Just depends on the situation. Uh, hello music, what the fuck was that? <laughs> He's uh, pulling with gravity, so we have to wait every time, it's kind of funny. He's too scared. Just aqua violet, dude. Sadly, when you're at points where you get 500 job points an hour, you only need 100. I mean, we're not at that point yet. Well, we were at that point at the end of the uh, nuking one. And the uh, uh, party we did with Alex yesterday was really good as well. Oh, well, those were really fast kills. Right? 300% resolution there. Well, 3,000 TP, I guess. <laughs> Intimidation is actually so shit. It's funny because it's good, it's just this rune fencer is not really uh, fantastic. He's very new for sure. That's fine though. Intimidation is usually the stronger uh, weapon skill. Unless you're completely attack capped.
Yeah, most people just turn up and are like, well, let's get this over with. I kind of like tryharding in these, though. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's, it's actually so slow. <laughs> this crab's just fucking walking menacingly towards us. I love it. Uh, I need to do songs, so let's do that real quick. I mean, I'm sure we could do this a lot faster if I were allowed to use Metsu. My Metsu definitely outdamages that guy's Dimidation, 100%. There's no doubt about that one. I, I like how we're also getting AoE Weather, but we're not getting AoE Regen from the uh, Scholar. It's kind of interesting. Rip. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, stay, stay right there, please, please. Of glory, geo frailty. That's where I want my bubble to be at. Perfect. Didn't notice that. Didn't notice what. Yeah, he's giving me. <laughs> It's, it keeps changing as well, which is kind of uh, interesting. He was doing fire weather at first. It's, uh, he does regen sometimes, but it's very low duration. He, you can tell he doesn't have any gear for it. I think he heard me there. I think I should put my Geo there. Interesting party to sure to be uh, sure. It's a little bit more AFK than my usual party, so so I'm okay with it. Okay, that guy isn't using his weapon skill, so I just close it for him then. Before he's gonna use it here. Fucking intimidation right there, Pog. Good shit, dude. I actually like main healing these kind of parties on Scholar. Kinda wish I uh, had the chance. Main healing on Scholar is fucking funny. Put out regen, then AFK. If someone complains about you AFKing, give them a weather. Very, very active, exactly. Oh shit. Come here. Nothing is more active than that. What's what's the Dark Knight doing? Oh, he's that's not a lot of fast gas, is it? I'm not one to talk though, my fast gas is fucking atrocious at the moment. I thought he was casting Drain there, but he's uh, using uh, End Dark. I guess you should be doing that. I wanted to make sure that guy had uh, 
MP. To give a battle to Tenebrae as well. There we go, and I'll give that guy a battle too, why not? There you go, buddy. Dark's fast cast is got awful, they struggle worse than Ninja. Ninja can cap it fairly easily. I thought it was pretty bad, but then I saw there's job points for it. You get 20 fast cast from job points, so Ninja is actually pretty easy to cap. As long as you have job points. Obviously that's only for ninjutsu, but they shouldn't be uh, casting anything else anyway, so... Because that means you're not on warrior sub job. And if that's the case, what are you even doing? Yeah, but would you cast in it? Like, would you cast any dark spell in it? I think Ninja Slash Blue Mage is, uh, is hidden potential. Poison Gar. Wait, what for again? Well, the average button, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm surprised it's Ninja slash Dark Knight instead of Ninja slash um, uh, Blue Mage. I think Ninja needs slash Blue Mage for consistent hate now. <laughs> yeah, you really should. <laughs> How much uh, enmity is Poison Guy? I don't even know it. Come on, this way. So now you're outside of bubble range, my dude. Come here. Just casually walking backwards. There we go. You're in pursuit to spam with SU5 is crazy, eh? It's pretty good, yeah. I saw it as well. I was like, wow, that's not too horrible. Uh, Blaze of Glory. I like this bubble location. That's actually decent as well. I'll do that. Ecliptic. Life cycle. There we go. Isn't Nagi better for that, by the way? I thought I had a lot of amity as well. Yeah, I know it's law, I just don't know how much precisely. I haven't really looked into it. 40. How much is SU5 then? Damn, that's, that's actually a lot. I can understand why they uh, are able to do uh, tank some shit then. I might try that eventually if I uh, ever get to that point. Sounds funny. Do you use a parry set in your regular um, idol set as well then? As you five dagger on thief or on bard or on dancer. Oh, katana. Katana is pretty good. Like it's a, it's a really good offhand in general if you're not attack capped. Plus 105 attack is uh, quite a lot. I'm uh, gonna close that. Keep intimidation again. Okay, I'll close that too. Closing everything. Gearing for parry is never worth it. 
Oh, wait, yeah, that makes sense. It's just but the Ted that's worth it. Forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I understand. Just forgot about it. Come on. There you go, buddy. Yeah, his resolution is hitting not hard at all. You should be using Torque Cleaver. I should be using Finale. Yeah, makes sense. That makes sense. Songs. Let's make sure it's uh, done here. Should use uh, Indian as well. Getting that? He's not getting that. See the demidation. Do it. Demidate that guy. Come on, Rune Fencer. He didn't do it. Rip. Heals Batman. fine with me, I can close that, it's probably the, for the best anyway. I kind of want to parse this, but I also kind of don't. I don't want to call anyone out here. Doesn't feel right. Need to finish up enmity testing, keep putting it off. What's the, what's the enmity testing that you still need to do? Just checking how much empathy something gives, or... Oh, yeah, yes, TP, I'll, I'll give him this chance to do a Uh, he's not gonna do it. Rip. He's too busy spamming runes, for some reason. Even though it doesn't really do anything here. Alright, I'm gonna eat my pizza while uh, we do this, so I'm gonna be mute for a little bit.
We are gonna start using Indie Fury here. He keeps hasting, so I'm fairly sure we're haste capped. I'm also keeping TP way more often than I want to. Plus, this Dark's uh, attack is really low, and he's using Resolution. What streaming program do you use? I use OBS. It's pretty much the uh, same program everyone else uses, I think. Not using the Streamlabs version either, I'm just using regular old OBS. So mean, dude. I have to bully me. Since you, Multibox, and got a question, if my girlfriend were to play a game with me, but in her laptop, how can I get her gameplay onto my stream with my gameplay? <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> uh, I'd say it streams to your PC, and you capture that window on your PC, but there's always going to be a delay if you do it through a streaming service, so you have to do something better than that. I'm fairly sure there's uh, LAN programs for that as well, though. Just uh, Google around until you find one. Capture card. I mean, if you're setting, sitting next to each other, then probably. But I, I'm assuming he means without actually buying anything. Because capture cards are not very cheap. Are there any particular fights you want my info on, uh, by the way? Um, I'd say the entirety of the Aeonic run. <laughs> I mean, you asked it. <laughs> the reason I like this party most is because I don't have to pull. I hate pulling. I only like pulling if I'm pulling on Bard. And only playing Bard as well. It's pretty chill that way. But even that gets pretty old pretty fast. Just give me some time and I'll convert into a friendly document for you. Alright. I don't really care for the Master Trials that much, but I think that, um, maybe Tumult Curator, since I still need gear from it as well. And yeah, Dyna is probably a good idea too, actually. Maybe Omen too. Actually, yeah, Omen I want as well, because there's a couple of things I want to try out on Omen. Oh, right, whoops. Yeah, I'm definitely not the right person to ask for that. Makes sense. I don't do Dyna that much uh, because I want to as well. I just did it for the unlocks mostly. Though I do want to get the Vault Gear for Paladin for a Magic Evasion build. That sounds fun. Which is kind of funny because apparently Reynemart on Asura has Vault uh, Head and Feet for Paladin. I have no idea how he got it. I don't even remember loading on those. But I have them. <laughs> Which means he only needs uh he only needs legs and then it's pretty much full build.
Yeah, I need legs too. Uh, songs. Oh wait, that's the wrong character. Songs. This kind of needs a life cycle that Lupin is not doing very hot. There we go. We had body drop from Dino D Wendy and they kicked the person from Alas after the run. Wow. Did he yoink it? He yoinked it, right? You wouldn't let a drop like that leave your Alas, right? I yoinked my buddy. <laughs> Garyant was very pleased. An intentional Quartermaster. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Because Quartermaster is very unintentional to uh, turn on. It's like, oops. Oh no, what did I do? I went to party, got the Quartermaster set yes, and everything. <laughs> very unintentional. I mean, yeah, but you turn it off during fucking bosses, come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he didn't play the jobs in the AFK during wave 3 boss, ca uh, causing us to lose. What a cocksucker. That's horrible, man, I'm sorry. That deserves a kick for sure. Generally feel bad about it. I think so, yeah, because Gar I know Garyant when we first did Dyna D when it came out. He was only after Fold Pieces back then, and he didn't change it at all. Like, he didn't want anything but the Fold Pieces. That was kind of funny. That's all he cared about. And that's fo four fucking years ago. I'm surprised he didn't even get the full set by now. He's been after that for four years, Jesus. It's horrible. He has full set. Oh, okay. Well, he has now then. Otherwise, he wouldn't have uh, needed that piece, right? What your points am I on? 90. I don't know when my next gift is, I should probably check that out. Uh, let's see, chop points, ninja, 658, uh, 775, so about 130 points-ish, that's fine. Fuck, he ruined my skill chain. <laughs> ruined! I might farm for that eventually. If I do, I'm uh, tossing the ones on Rainimart probably. Actually, I shouldn't do that. Warrior can probably still use that. I genuinely like Dynamis. What the fuck is wrong with you? You. <laughs> yeah, you weird. <laughs> I... I just don't understand, man. Enlighten me, maybe I'll enjoy it too. I would love to enjoy it, but it is... Ugh, it feels so... shit. <laughs> I hate Dynamis with a passion. I always did. I mean, I guess it has like a nostalgic thing for you then. Uh, that guy can cure himself, right? He's taking as well fucking time to cure himself. This guy has balls. No stone skin, converting at 51 HP with two mobs engaged, both have an AoE. 
guy actually has balls, dude. Solo wave two bosses. I don't uh, think I can do that quite yet. <laughs> I mean, for Red Mage, that shit's probably pretty easy. They have so much magic damage for no reason. Can you do that on Scholar? It sounds possible as long as you have kiting room. Magic accuracy issue, I'm guessing. Place of glory. Geo frailty. Ecliptic. There we go, you can close that. That's more like it. I think he used a job ability on that one. I haven't really seen him use up job abilities. I haven't been looking either though, so maybe he has been using them. Tried solo health fast once, got to 39% uh, percent and got countered to death. Yeah, that's the thing you need to be scared about. Four bucks plus a uh, four box plus one real player died of 40%. <laughs> that's actually quite funny. How the fuck did that happen then? <laughs> Turns out he's still hard, yeah. <laughs> Is he... I think he's considered the hardest uh, wave 3 boss, right? Alphas. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh fuck, my... My uh, songs war. Sorry guys. Which uh, unlock is for health us actually? Kind of, uh, I kind of forgot. Right, one more song here. There we go. Let's give that guy some ballad. I'll close it myself. Let's get my Geo some ballad as well. There we go. Alright, I'm eating the rest of my pizza here. I got distracted. Yeah, as long as you have full gear, it's, they are not really a challenge. For sure. It's not getting that. <laughs> I think... Um, 
I don't know, I kind of like... I think I like Dynamis a lot more if my spells wouldn't continuously get eaten and wouldn't be as laggy. I think I genuinely m might like Dynamis at that point, but that's just not the case. One mil HP, yeah, that's <laughs> that's fucking nothing. So like eight people max. No, I was solo, and my spells were still getting eaten. I was testing it out because uh, because it happened quite a lot during the run, and it was a six man run. So I tried solo after everyone left. And they were still getting eaten. It's just a zone, man. I don't have that shit anywhere else. Super annoying. It's the only zone I have that in. Base of glory. Oh shit, my bubble died. Uh oh. That's not good. I guess I shouldn't ecliptic then. Uh, that sucks. Uh, that's uh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I don't want to do it much longer than that anyway. See more lag when thief slash black mage and th uh, thief slash dragoon. That's uh, interesting. I need to wait two minutes for my uh, Blaze of Glory here. Alright, let's close that one. Still a few minutes. One and a half ish. do my songs here so I don't forget about that at least. This mob then. Last week someone volunteered to go thief in my last lead set, so you're saying when he can have a real sub? <laughs> I mean he's not wrong. <laughs> he's definitely not wrong. I'm kinda surprised nobody likes going thief to be honest, it's literally free gear, free stuff. It's the easiest, easiest job in the... Uh, in Dyna. Place of Glory, Geo Frailty. Life Cycle. Kinda need the Ecliptic though, that's the worst part. I'm gonna keep doing it. Our damage is very low. I don't really know why either. I know why my ninja's damage is low, I just don't know why this Dark Knight's damage is low. He has Catapult as well. I mean, you should be using Torque Cleaver regardless, I guess. I turned off my TH set until wave 2.
may as well bought that shit, yeah, exactly, but it's it's still free money, right? I mean, at some point in the game, money doesn't really, like, you don't give a shit about money anymore. I'm uh, not there for sure, though. I have proper TP and DT sets on my thief, so you have malignants, Kappa. <laughs> because that tags both of those. <laughs> Feels funny, man. No, I know that, but it's still... I feel like his Torque would do a lot better than his Resso. Resso needs so much more gear than Torque does. Okay, nobody's healing me. Guess I'll uh, Utsu up then. That makes sense. You're at a point where it gets boring. It's just uh, max gear troubles. <laughs> you say that now, but... <laughs> I bet you'd hate it when it's actually the case. The fence boost these guys have is actually insane. Good morning, Dance. We're doing a pickup group CP party right here. Feels funny, man. My current main is white mage, actually plays vanilla. Oh, main LS, white mage, actually plays vanilla. That is pretty difficult. How does he handle fast cast? Does he actually fast cast set before every single spell? Because you can't change it halfway. You have to do that manually, right? Yeah, no, but you can't... Wait, can you actually... Isn't, isn't it too fast? Because if you have fast cast, it's less than one second, and wait, one is the minimum, right? So how do you do that? Because spells are a lot faster than one second. And vanilla only allows you to, allows you to wait one, not wait 0 0.5. Oh, uh, you just gimped your fast cast for it, and then depending on the... I mean, not all of them, but most of them. There's a few ones that aren't, but the ones that are important for White Mage definitely are. I'm gonna convert here. I used to do white mage with equip sets, so it's 100% doable. I just built a set that has cure cast time, fast cast mixed to 80% and 50% cure potency. 
Uh, you could do that, I guess. I mean, it's gimpy for your heals, but... You have to gimp yourself either way somewhere. <laughs> Makes sense. And technically, that's how SE was so, like supposed to do this. There's a couple of pieces that have uh, very good fast gas on it as well for cures, like uh, Kai Ka's legs. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, exactly. Sounds interesting. I don't know if I could play like that, though. That sounds horrible still. <laughs> I wouldn't want to, mostly. Um, three jobs mastered, three to go. I'm at about 700 to 800 points on this now, I think. Let's see. Uh, 658 plus 100, so 758 right now. This one has the uh, least. I need about 20 more. On this guy. I got the daybreak today, Oli. I did um, an easy run on Lilith solo with uh, Scholar. Well, solo is not really the right word, but without any outside help, just my characters. With uh, THA and uh, got daybreak out of it. The first easy run we did. When gear swap is broken right after updates, lots refuse to even play. Yeah, it's just gear swap's issue. Gear swap's not a good program. A shit the cost is a million times better. You have five days. Backup equip sets just for that. Yeah, most just don't play. It's like their break time. Because they let's be honest, most people don't have a break time while playing this game. <laughs> they just go ahead until they're dead. I don't know if I can get the um, mastered on this. I think I have to go pretty hard on it if I want to. I'm not that worried about it either though. If I don't make this goal, it's fine that to me. We're getting chains, right? Yeah, we are. Oh, that's fine then. As long as we we are getting chains, it's cool. And anyone knows what happens to your auction house stuff if you change servers? Nothing. Doesn't it uh, get removed? Does it just transfer auction house? Oh, I didn't know that. This guy's dying, dude. He be dying. I'm guessing he means in-game. I think it just gets removed. Yeah, it's just lost. Like, it's gone. Just assume Auction House website doesn't exist. It's healthier for you in the long run. <laughs> right, that's a decent spot. Uh, it's a little bit less decent. Geo Frailty. No, wait. Base of glory, Chill of frailty, there we go. Ecliptic, life cycle, that'll do. It's 
like the tumor of Final Fantasy XI. I mean, I find it very easy to ignore. Actually, I don't have any problems ignoring it. I feel bad for people that have full debox and decide they want to char change servers. I mean, <coughs> I uh, I think you feel bad for Shirai here. <laughs> <laughs> he he deboxed himself like a lot of regal shit and lost it all when he swapped servers. I got random DM. Didn't you change your name? I how are you still getting DMs? Oh fuck, that guy's dead, dude. Rip. That's not on me, that's on the rune fencer. his actual name. I'll just raise him like this. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. Uh, cure 4 so he doesn't die to AoE here. Ooh, that was right on time. <laughs> I crap used bubble shower as well. Recast, he says. I don't believe it. Right. I have enough to do. I'm not gonna start fishing as well. Uh, songs. Make a run gui a guide on Auction House. Was it that bad? Let's make a better guide forehead. I remember the last time I checked forums for like actual forum posts instead of uh, like a general idea on what to gear for. I um, was on Wikipedia's uh, video post, right? He posted a video about how to farm cards and shit. And immediately some guy's like, you should fucking kill yourself. <laughs> fucking everything. I was like, wow, alright. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. And that's not even in DMs, yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't even check out my DM box. I may actually have hate mail in it. Who knows? I have never checked my uh, DM box on uh, Auction House. Literally never. Sometimes you get the DM of someone legit asking for help. Can't just ignore them. I mean, you can. You're wrong there, my friend. You can actually ignore that. Like, if it's healthier for you in the long run, because you actually care about what people say about you, I wouldn't check the inbox at all. I hate Red Mage guys because there's always something I don't agree with. I mean, most guides on Auction House are really shit. There's some good ones, but most of them are shit. Oh, you got it. Never mind. All Gucci. There's very few good ones. The Ninja one is missing so much shit as well. It's just not updated. Well, it is updated actually, because it has JSC neck in it, so it is updated. But it's just not good. <laughs> like, there's pieces of gear that are miles better than what he uh, has in there. And he just doesn't realize they exist, I guess. Which is fine, like, don't go there for your actual ninja needs. Motivation. Uh, motivation is sometimes hard to find for sure. I mean, I have to admit, like, I thought this whole streaming thing would be, like, very doable and stuff. 
But in the back of my mind, I knew it's gonna be more work than I think it is. And I was definitely correct. And it's not even the work involved, it's just like, you can't just AFK in Mara when you're streaming, right? So, you actually have to do things, and it's, uh, it definitely made me progress a lot faster than I normally do, that's for sure. But it also makes me a lot more tired after a day of playing than it used to be, uh, used to do. Which makes sense, and that's fine. It's just part of the game. Oh fuck, my bubble war already. That's not good. Well, I guess we're going to be getting a nerf bubble for now. Most recent thing I added to my red mage set was Contemplator plus one. It's kind of funny, for um, for Scholar it's not even best in slot. Or Enfeebles. Well, actually it is, I think. Um, I, I checked the magic accuracy thing on staff itself, and I think uh, I calculated that wrong. Because I'm fairly sure you only get half of it in actual magic accuracy, right? Like, for example, if uh, Kikaku here has magic accuracy skill plus 242, it's only half of that in actual magic accuracy, if I recall correctly. Which does make Contemplator plus one very slightly better. Yeah, but it's... I said that before, potency of your Enfeeble is not gonna fucking matter if you're not landing the spell. Does it actually lose out if you got calculated like that? Because I don't think it does, I think it wins. Because I was in the premonition that um, magic accuracy skill is the same as magic accuracy. Like they're the same thing, but they, apparently it's not. Wouldn't go that far since most players don't know basics of uh, that. What is to, what guide is for to teach people the thoughts of concepts? Yeah, but that's a problem because most basic players don't look at the guides like that. They look at this as as an end all be all. Like, oh, I don't want to think, so I'll build this then. I see that happen all the time. But that's what I do as well. Like, if I am on a new job, I look at the guide what to generally build for. Not even what's in the set, but just what to generally build for. And I do the rest myself. And that, like so far, that has worked out for me, for sure. Yeah. Well, the guides are still shit as well, but they do have some valuable information, which is what kind of sets to build. Like, if you are a completely new player and you don't know what a weapon skill set is, it's definitely useful to have a guide that says, hey, you should build a weapon skill set. Because that's going to be a massive increase either way, Depend like, if you're using the wrong gear or whatever, it doesn't even matter. Because weapon skilling in TP says it's always going to be worse. So I'm not saying guides are useless, I just wish they were better. Because they could be better, better for sure. There's a debate on how much magic accuracy you get from magic accuracy skill because of testing someone supposedly did on JB Wiki or whatever. Yeah, but that, that shit matters for Contemplator plus one. Uh, versus Mythic on Scholar. Like if it's one, uh, one is one, so one magic accuracy skill is one magic accuracy, the Mythic is better. But if it's one magic accuracy skill is half a magic accuracy, then uh, Contemplator is better. For Enfeebles, of course. Not for anything else. How much magic accuracy skill does Tupsi have, and how much magic accuracy does Tupsi have? And the same for Contemplator. All fully augmented, of course. Yeah, plus 70. And Tupsi? Or uh, Contemplator? Yeah, yeah, but let's, let's keep the skill outside of the equation. What does uh, Contemplator have? So I'm fairly sure Contemplator has more. Contemplator plus one. Contemplator has int plus 12, which is six magic accuracy at, at worst. 
It has no native magic accuracy, but it does have magic accuracy plus 20, uh, uh, 70, and enfeebling magic uh, skill plus 20. And enfeebling magic skill is magic accuracy. One uh, is one. So that's 90 magic accuracy, not 70. So it's 90 magic accuracy versus 70 magic accuracy. And that's where the skill comes in. If skill is one is one, then Tupsy wins, but if skill is not 1 is 1, then Contemplator wins. So it doesn't... <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't even know what it is, man. I don't listen to Lil Wayne at all. Also, I should probably uh, re-sing here. You can't forget about int being magic accuracy as well, so... It's 96 at worst versus 70. At worst. Because uh, that's excluding Aftermath, and that Aftermath can give you a law as well. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Is one magic accuracy skill, does that equate to one magic accuracy? Or does it equate to half a magic accuracy? Because I've heard both and I'm not sure which one it is. No one knows. Yeah, I know, but that is a big fucking deal. Because that defi like that determines which which one is actually better. How far are we? 126. I'll uh, do a little bit more then. Five minutes, last boss. I mean, it, w it wins hands down for that regardless, because it has skill on it as well. And those actually get potency from skill. Even though it has a cap on it. Actually, I'm fairly sure they get potency from skill. It's uh, It's been a while since I played Red Mage, but I'm fairly sure they did. Yeah, but even if it is, you have to take into account which one would be better there. Because if the magic accuracy is the same, you choose Contemplator every single time. Well, though, knowing SE, it's factor by level correction for you versus mob when it comes to skill. Yeah, maybe. I think there's a lot of theories there, but nobody really knows. It's like the end all thing about it. I would love to know it, but I just don't. So I, I can't say anything about it because I just I just don't know. Like that's <laughs> that's the conclusion here. I fucking hate that I don't know I, either. I wish I did because I, I actually want to know which one <laughs> I should be using. You know. Yeah. So that's where. That's where I got my info from as well. So one ac magic ac accuracy skill is half a magic accuracy. If that's the case though, Contemplator just wins. Oh, by the way, Casey, I heard you were taking a break from the game. Is that true? Like, I'm not sure if it is, so I figured I'd just ask. Alright. Lies. Lies and deceit in chat. I can't remember. Some, uh, someone early in the stream. Maybe it was like a... Just taking a break from the game for today or something. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I just misunderstood.
But yeah, if that's the case, uh, let's see here. Contemplator had how much magic accuracy skill? 228. So it's, uh, where is it? 115 versus 135, so that's 20 difference. Which basically means Contemplator is more, because that means, uh, 20 difference means Contemplator gets uh, 96 with the int mod added as well, whereas Tupsi R15 without a, uh, AM, without AM, gets uh, 90, yeah. Or 70. 70, yeah. Well, it gets 90 with the uh, thingy then, with the magic accuracy skill on top. So it's 96 versus 90, which means Contemplator wins. Yeah, that's for a if you have AM up, uh, Tupsi wins easily. Very easily. I, I was not doubting about that at all. But AM down. In the worst case scenario for both of them. Because in the best case scenario, one int is one magic accuracy instead of half magic accuracy for Contemplator. When your D int is uh, very low. Which can happen. I mean, there are times where you just can't get AM up, right? Well, for Scholar, usually no, because you have Atlo as well. There's that, I guess. Yeah, that's true. That is definitely true. I guess for that, it definitely wins out. I was just uh, contemplating on Contemplator, I guess. I was curious. I guess there might be content where you don't want to stand in melee range ever. Uh, Dino Wave 3 comes to mind. But that's not a thing entirely, I guess. Plus, it's only running into range for one weapon skill. Uh, maybe. I honestly don't know. I've never really played a mage shop in Wave 3, so I couldn't tell you. You probably did, though, so I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Thank you. Good party, said the Rune Fencer. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> I like this guy, it's funny. Let's uh, keep the Japanese people as our friends. There's not many AoE to worry about in Wave 3. Don't the uh, bosses have some AoE one-hit moves? I remember uh, Gary undying there. I think that was... Juno? Whichever would gave the mythic one, the mythic unlock. Uh, ultimate weapon, arc, oh, augments. I think that's Juno though, right? Oh, it's Bastok. Could be Bastok then, I'm not sure. I remember him dying on a Dark Knight with like 5k HP though, <laughs> which was kind of funny. Snow shots like every day for CP. Yeah, I know. I, I just wanted to do one perk in my life because I haven't done a perk, a single perk in this uh, server yet. It was kind of okay. It wasn't a great party, but it wasn't bad either. Could have been worse. I've, I for sure had worse on Asura. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that JP dude become the greatest run ever seen. He ran from cute noob to the best player. That's the story arc we want to see. I would love to see that. I'd, I'd be like a proud dad if that happened. It's like, oh, that's my boy. <laughs> Mate, everyone calls him Pug. What else would you call it? 
there um, was a guy you want to watch. He was monk the uh, monk white mage with a staff and didn't even have equipment in every available slot. Oh boy. I'm not sure if I do want to watch him. Like maybe from outside the party, but definitely not inside. <laughs> no thanks. I'm okay. I've done that before. I think Zandu did that like yesterday. He uh, needed a job to uh, CP, so he just chose something and went naked. The filthy leech. Scholar slash ninja, I forgot to have my Kieran monk. <laughs> I mean, that's that's like a tale as all this time at this point. You forgetting gear happens all the time. I know that much. He told me he had Imperian weapons, so I asked why he didn't use it. He said I was only level 90, so I was like, yeah, just keep using staff then. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. Shout party? Nah, we just call it Pug here. I've always called it Pug since 2004. Who calls it Shout party? I'm bad for forgetting my gear and mock, it happens so often. Yeah, I know it does. It happened back then as well, even though you didn't really have that many jobs geared. <laughs> I remember it. It's just funny. I joined a shout? Well, yeah, you can say that, but... You actually say shout party? Back when I had played, I had like three jobs geared, now I have 19, feels bad, yeah. That's pretty much the issue, huh? Uh, I think we keep the same setup for this. Maybe Scholar instead? I wanna get a Culminus now, since I actually have a Daybreak. Alright, I'm going to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in about two minutes. Hello, I am back. Well, this sucks. I thought the uh, it was already four o'clock, but it's three, so we need to wait for our augmenting sash. Unfortunately, uh, do I bring thief here instead of a geo? I think I do. It's probably a good idea. I like th, and I don't want to spend forever 
to uh, get that culminus. Real question is, do I bring Scholar here for safety? I don't think I do. Nah, I think I'm good. Shouldn't be needed. Natural is almost up as well. Uh, find all feared. I don't think I have one anymore. Nope. <laughs> Thanks, man. I hope you all enjoyed the, uh, the light show. Let's try this again, this time we are meleeing instead. Uh, Definition safe hold 2. I actually don't think I have the right amount of gear for this anyway, but... Should have done flurry instead, just because. I love doing that. Uh, yeah, when I played Red Mage like... I think five years ago, four and a half years ago, something like that, when I was just starting out on the server and 119 in general. Um, back then there was... Uh, <laughs> I was playing with a friend and he would ask for haste every time as a meme, and I just uh, kept casting flurry on him. You're a Corsair, you're getting flurry. Just uh, hang back and start shooting. <laughs> he hated it, of course, as one should. I'm fairly sure this guy has a lot of uh, drop slots, right? Let's see... Treasures? Nah, Chains of Breath, yeah. Ugh, six items. It's not as rough as uh, Denson, I guess. Want to be feared on normal. I'm not sure if I can do it on difficult, but I don't really feel like trying either. I have TH anyway, so it's really no point. Okay. I think I want to use Gesho here, maybe. Actually, no, I think I'll use August. I'll use August here. Uh, Silpy's pretty nice, and we should probably get a white mage too. Probably Karaha. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Nitro up. Dummy it up. Thief is only here for TH of course, so... Gravity defying cat, yeah. <laughs> That's what she is. I think she's the least elegant cat I've ever seen, to be honest. Like, when she jumps off of something, most cats barely make a sound, and when she ju jumps off of a desk or whatever, it, it's like a fucking brick hitting the floor. I am not joking, it actually is like that.
Alright, uh, let's STP and subtle blow up as well, there's no reason not to. Alright, let's do this. Start out with the attack down and get the TP down effect on him as well. Or I just get stunned and nothing happens. Oh, that's a bind effect apparently. Uh, let's go to Tenebra, let's dia real quick. May as well dia too actually. Doing it anyway. I'm not sure whether light skill chain or dark skill chain hits harder on this guy. I honestly have no idea. Oh fuck, I don't have ninja tools, uh oh. Let's open it back real quick. Additional effects done, you hate to see it. the pile pitch, which isn't the worst move to be honest. Like that's something we can heal against, but it doesn't remove shadows. I think the hyper pulse is the most annoying one. It is a full hate reset on pile pitch, I think. Which I guess is somewhat annoying, but it's not too bad. Skip the event, yes. Don't care about those events. Alright. Let's put that shit up. Uh guess we're ready. There we go. Dia 2. And let's start. How much damage is that doing? Oh, there's a defense boost. Let's try and finale that. I think these are light based, but I'm not quite sure. Probably Berserk. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Do this then. That's something I don't like to see. Is that Echo Drops? Do I need the Echo Drops here? Nah, we don't. Okay, cool. That was a lot of damage. Turbo Fan. Maybe I should be using um, Choo Choo here. Get some AoE buffs as well. Ouch. I think we're done here though. As soon as I get my attack off, that is. There we go.
I actually have so many crystals, I completely forgot about that. I don't think I got my personal reward on most of my characters just now. Whoops. There we go. Treasure, beetle blood. Alright, let's do that again until we have the shield. Alright, let's keep this train rolling. I think I'll do this until I uh, can augment again. Then we'll check out any uh, if we get anything good from DM today. Probably not. Still have to do some, um, I think, Mithra for the deeds. I'm fairly sure that's the only one I need for deeds right now. Let's check that out to make sure. Yeah, I just need the uh, Mithra. I should do that in a bit as well. I think uh, next month, I on the first deed uh, goal, I get a free pulse weapon as well. Still not moved to Asura. I'm already on Asura, my dude. Not on these characters, but I am on Asura. As long as the uh, free login lasts. <laughs> I must be drunk, I almost offered to join you with my bard so you'd get an extra song. Mate, hey, if you want to, you can, for sure. As long as you don't uh, ninja my shield. Because <laughs> this is definitely not the most fun fight. If you want to join just for the hell of it though, let me know. It's all good. Alright. Uh, let's do the same job setup at work last time, so... Hey, thanks for the raid, dude. I appreciate it. What do we do here again? Alright, Sylvie, of course. Hi. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Nitro is almost up. I'll just dummy without it. That's completely fine. Damn gill signs. Must be nice having gill. <laughs> I wonder if I'll uh, go for Bart Ramas first. I kind of should because it's like nearly required to be a good job to bring anyway. But I find it very fucking hard to do. So much other stuff I want to get. Alright, we should uh, ballot the white mage. And ballot ourselves, I guess. That's probably a good idea. Just in case we do need cures. SCP and subtle blow up, and there we go. Twitch kill is all I have. It's all you'll ever need, my friend. Imagine getting actual gill.
that requires playing the game. Ugh. Can't have that, can we? Last time I didn't even make a worry up for this. I probably should have for the uh, pile pitch. I don't even know if uh, make a worry blocks that though. We'll give it a go. See what it does. Would be kind of nice if it does block it. I think I just met so here instead. Yeah, may as well. It's chunking pretty decently. I could Yon in here as well, but I don't really care for it too much. It's not really a reason to. It's a little bit of evasion, but it's so minor. Yield looks. Thank you. Oh, the end's done. Nearly killed me as well. Oh shit, it, it is killing me currently. Alright. Cure please, thank you. Hate that thing. I don't think I can dispel it either. Let's see if I can. Fairly sure it just didn't land. Rip. Fucking hate that effect. There we go. Skip the event, times three. There we go. Let's keep going. Redo these two buffs real quick, there's no reason not to. Technically may as well make a worry here. Right, let's uh, TP down this guy and run to the corner. Probably should be elegying this guy as well, but I don't really care too much for it. Is that tag? I don't think that works. Oh, it doesn't have any MP. Forgot about that. It's uh, slash uh, red mage. Guy doesn't have any yeah, MP. <laughs> I'm doing this, I should be doing it like this, I guess. Since this guy has a lot of uh, those kind of moves. Breath moves. I don't know if this lands, let's see. Oh, it does. Probably should be using that more often. There's the slow. Uh, I could remove that. Erase. May as well.
I'm after the uh, Culminus. I got a... Oh, nice, there it is. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I just got a Daybreak earlier from Lilith today, so I want the shield to go with it for uh, Lumino Helix. Hey, exactly. Let's make sure I uh, get it on the correct character. There we go, Culminus Mine. He's busy. That is very nice. Wait, which uh, things do I have here? Oh, that's the Phalanx ones. I don't care about those. I'll augment over them. Very cool. We're done with this one then. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Not really anything. Very cool. Oh, there he is. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, man, I just got it. <laughs> uh, if you want to join on Lilith, let me know, though. I don't know if you need any gear from it. You probably don't, since you've been playing for 15 years. <laughs> it's a cool-looking shield. Uh, not just that, it's actually very fucking useful. So it's not uh, just the looks we're after here. It has uh, magic damage plus 75 and magic attack bonus plus 20. But mostly the magic damage plus 75 is very fucking good for Helix because they have a very low base ma uh, magic damage. So this actually increased it by a ton. And we got Daybreak today as well, so... It kind of helped people one. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I'm going to do the re like, I'm going to do Lilith with the rest of my things, I think. Like, there's no reason not to. It's just a waste of merits if I don't use them. If you do need something somewhere, though, let me know. I'm a uh, game in uh, joining you. I got it while doing getting the announcements and whatever the coin ammo is called. Uh, the coin ammo is from uh, Tenzin, though. It's not from that guy. I think the announcements is something it does drop. The Newmans, the Newmans, apparently. Um, and it drops the earring as well, the Gesson's earring, which is uh, usually sought after. But the, uh, the coin is from Tenzin. I need to uh, change my set now on Scholar. Oh boy. Um, let's do that for a little bit. Let's do some theory crafting here. It's uh, almost Nork time as well, so... That's a really good ammo for a really long time, though. And for some jobs, it's best in slot forever. <laughs> think a Yamarung beats it for Dancer? I, I recall using Yamarung. Yeah, it pretty much does. Gives you a 15 magic evasion as well, so... That's a really good uh, piece as well. For the heavier jobs, I think Ginson doesn't even get replaced at all. Maybe with something from Unity Augments, because I haven't really checked out all of them, but I don't think it does. Okay, so basically the, the issue here is... Um, if I use Daybreak and Culminus, I lose 10 Magic Burst bonus because of um, Academos, so I have to find a way to get that back. Not sure what my current set is. It's not even best in slot for Helix at all. I haven't really checked that out. But we'll uh, we'll give it a go. Let's see, AC set uh, MB, AC disable. So currently we are. I think we're over magic burst bonus right now. Yeah. So if I change this to uh, static. And I don't change anything else. This to Daybreak. This to Culminus. I think we're there already. 9, 11. Uh, that's 30. That's 40. Wait. That's not good. I kind of want to use Melqui here. But I don't have Melqui yet. <laughs> so that's an issue as well. But I I'm at 50 right now. What do I change? What do I change? I'd like to change this if I had the piece for it, but I really don't have it. I could use this for now, I guess. That's not great either. 
Uh, I don't really have anything good here either. And this one is very hard to beat. It has very high magic uh, attack bonus. In general, this would be Relic plus 3 hat. But that thing is like 15 mil as well, or probably even more, probably like 25. So that's not really worth it. I don't want to replace this at all. This is like the worst thing to replace. Oh wait, I know what to replace, of course, duh. I'm a fucking idiot. Weatherspoon ring. So this embargo. So as soon as I get Melqui um, legs, basically I choose Melqui legs here because they have some magic burst bonus on them as well. Along with a, a very high amount of uh, base magic damage. I choose that and I choose Static Earring. I think that's the way to go. Do you have Captain rank? I don't think I do. Don't think so. Cries assaults times a lot, right? AC at set. Uh, Lumino. There we go. Let's go use that real quick. Notepad. Scholar. Else if at name is uh oh, whoops. Else if at name is oh shit. Lumino wildcard equip set is Lumino slash else if. Okay, cool. AC uh, reload. AC set Lumino. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, give that thing a go. I want to see what the base damage on it is like. I'll need to do them all soon uh, for my Glance Fast books. I mean, if you want me to. Oh, wait. I think you can skip the quest by buying the proper item for Curie Moogle, though. Still have to do the assaults. Yeah, I think you can get the uh, Wildcat badge there, right? So it's just assaults, really. There's only a few very annoying assaults, the rest is like, alright. We tried the uh, Embu yesterday, by the way, uh, B2. It was very <laughs> rough. <laughs> we didn't get the clear in the end, that's why my seal is still active. Fucking sucked. All right, I guess we try Lilith here. It is very irritating. I don't want to skip it entirely though. I want at least a few clears. You can basically AFK if you want to. Or come on like Black Mage to speed things up. Let's see. Uh, this guy stays on Thief. The other guy sta uh, is going to Geo here. Change jobs. Geomancer slash Red Mage. Give that guy a refresh for now. Almost done with the salvage. Alright, uh, let me know when. Uh, Chironic gloves. I needed them for, because uh, I accidentally got this <laughs> on my last pair. And I need them for refresh, but I didn't want to pass up on this augment. Because that's, that's pretty fucking high. <laughs> that's a really good bard equip, but I don't really play battle bard right now, so... For now, it's just something that's uh, going in my uh, mock house. I should technically AFK in Daybreak as well, or idle in it. For some reason, it has Magic Evasion plus 30 as well. I have no idea why, but it just does. <laughs> Alright, 20 minutes until we can augment. Oof. 
I'll go outside and uh, helix something, see what happens. I'm kind of curious now. want to know what the base damage is. Uh, without a Geo, I think. Actually, I'll bring my Geo with me. I can check uh, with uh, certain types of Geo as well. Let's see what my actual set was for Lumino Helix. I had a few best in slot sets. I haven't really tested them out since. Uh, oh, I think they are called Iono Helix for some reason. Uh, for Magic Burst, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, Static, Malignant, Weather Spoon, Mujin Band, Melqui, Trues, which have Magic Burst plus 6. Then Amalric Nails, Amalric Gages, and double Merlinic for Hood and Body. Technically, I should get Ghastly Deathlim actually, that's pretty good. It cost me 15 mil as well, so I'm not sure if I should do that right away. I think the first uh, Amalric thing I should get is the Gauntlets, or Gages, the hands. There's this Kramer Cord as well, but if you're hitting 10k already, it's not really worth getting. Alright. Yeah, I'll, uh, I have time, dude. Don't worry. Should probably start uh, stacking this as well if I'm here anyway. Try to avoid buying a Malric plus one body, but I did uh, drop the 50 mil in the end. Wait, 50? I mean, it's not 50 anymore, it's like 20 now. Maybe 30. Base helix is 2630. Alright. That's actually a very nice number already. Um, there's this one. I'll geomalaze that. To wait for my Luna helix, so I'll, uh, I'll haste myself up real quick as well. So this is a base malaised one. Wow. 7500 naked, that's pretty insane. I'm not gonna do it on the cast, we know it's uh, gonna be a lot more on that. Alright, PCMD add player 2. Let's do some uh, Lilith, he still needs uh, legs. I, I do need legs as well, but I want him to get his uh, full set. So I haven't played retail in a hot meta. Is it easy to master a job now? It is. Well, it's kind of easy. It's just like brain AFK, so it's not like challenging content or whatever. Which means some people don't really like it. I think the start of getting job points is like alright, but at the end it gets really boring. It is a very fun place to test out multiple setups though. I think job points is a good testing ground. Uh, I don't have Maiden, right? Nope. Yeah, I would love that actually. Orpheus Sash. The weapon skill damage ring is like, alright. I don't really care too much about that. But Orpheus Sash, I do care about. I really want that. For show. I think it is as well. Uh, you're on blue, alright. Fair enough. Are you gonna free nuke? Sash for 40 mil? That's super cheap. Holy shit. I'm at a point where if someone would offer me that Sash for 40 mil, I'd, I'd take it, even though there's like a million other upgrades to get. That is really cheap. 
pretty sure it's still like 150 or 200 mil or something like that. God damn, dude, you're lucky. Just gonna open his uh, Alex boxes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I could not do that. And again, I actually manually did salvage. I'll stare at conflicts for luck. Thank you, man. Thank you. We need it. Uh, Amchichi was very nice, right? Yeah, he had a lot of HP right now. I'm okay with that. Look at this guy, dude. Look at all that Alex. He's distracting me. <laughs> um, I should definitely AoE shell. Something I can't forget about. Other than that, though, I think I can just... Uh, Ace myself, etc. Don't think we need anything else. Alright. Uh, in the acumen. Good here. Tenebra Dia. Blaze of Glory. Geo Malaise. Ecliptic. And Life Cycle. Should be good here. Let's skill chain. I think I can actually do that skill chain, can I? Oh, rip. Oh, that did no damage. Okay, I guess we're going back to uh, Pyro Helix then. Rip. Didn't really work out. There we go. 13k, that's fine. Start free nuking it a little bit as well, there's no reason not to. Should probably free nuke with tier 3 instead though. Wait for things now. Leopon is still alive, so that's good. I'll wait for some stratagems. Probably have to dispel once in a while. Yeah, she has Phalanx on. What else should, does she have on? Nothing. Alright. Seems good. Let's hope he doesn't close that. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. That's a good bit of extra damage there. I think I can still do this. Oh, no, I can't. Rip. Already 33 working on Ninja Unlock. Nice. 
Good job, man. It's one of the best unlocks you'll do. May as well do this. I'm fairly sure my bubble's dead, right? Yeah. Second one doesn't really matter, as long as the first one uh, is a maximum elix one. Five thousand six hundred Alex, that's a decent amount, yeah. Very nice dude. I think I'm still slash white mage. Yeah I am. <laughs> I should have been slash red mage. Whoops. Uh nothing, rip. I'll take the behemoth ladders though. Actually I have a use for them. Alright, cool. My staring failed, oh no. I mean, we got the kill, maybe that's what, what you stared for. If you wanna join in, let me know, by the way. I don't know if you need anything from uh, Lilith, but... Oh wait, I do know that, you said you don't need anything. <laughs> It's kind of nice that Amchuchu just carries this though. I wonder if he still does when uh, this event is over. I'm not quite sure. I'll take the 5 out of 5, thanks. Alright, come on in then. I need to not forget to uh, change uh, sub job to red mage. My fast cast isn't good enough for slash white mage quite yet. Uh, oh yeah, she might be. I always say he because he has a horny helmet on. Ah uh, yes, I realize what I just said. You don't care about Noterus. It's 2020! <laughs> I know, right? Girls can wear those helmets too now, you bigot. May as well reset bug real quick. Doesn't really matter what sub job I have on this anyway, I'll just uh, do that. I'm not gonna change it back. I wonder why my Lumino Helix was that low though. I guess she uh, resists light damage or something. I know uh, dark damage heals her. Cat's just doing a full body cleaning over there. Gonna miss out on my DI today, Peppa Hands. Yep. I uh, only did two DI today instead of three. I got uh, capped on both though, on uh, two characters. And I'm 20 off on one character, so it's not really worth it to me. <laughs> Dirty little cat. At least you're calling it cat. <laughs> That could be worse for sure. Amachichu would actually get a lot of HP if I did uh, 
if I have my trust quest done. It's like plus five levels or something with four players. I think it's plus five levels. Oh no, I need to be in this one. There we go, let's sublimation up as well. Haste up. I don't think there's anything else I need to do here. Oh yeah, claim a form. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, that's definitely the uh, issue there. Need to uh, say good luck to me instead. Kappa. Alright, that'll do. Stand all the way out of range. It's Dia on Tenebra. In the Acumen. Uh, Blaze of Glory. Geomalaise. Ecliptic Attrition. Hello, Ecliptic Attrition, thank you. And Life Cycle. Should be good here. Let's start. There we go. Might be able to get another. Oh, that match burst as well, nice. I think I have enough, right? Yeah. Sometimes my uh, recast fucks with me, so I can't really uh, see whether I'm doing well or not. It's kind of annoying. I'll hurry it up for sure. That still hit? Oh, nice. It did. That's a double match burst right there. You take those. Alright, we need to wait 25 seconds here. Which is completely fine. I can just uh, dispel during this time. Not really in a rush at the moment. I'm fairly sure she. Uh... Oh, she dispelled foil there. It's not the worst. Alright, we're good here. Let's hurry this up a little bit. While the Luapon's still alive, which it barely is. There we go. Tier 3. Didn't go off for some reason again. I have that so often, man, it's fucking annoying. Didn't get anything. Rip. Uh, fuck it. Oi. Look at this guy yoinking my shit. Nah, it's alright, man. We Gucci. Let's uh, go out. Another fair try, unfortunately, to no avail. Cheer harder, yeah. What fight is this called? Uh, Disc of the Maiden, I think. It's against Lilith. Let's see what's what is it actually called? Maiden of the Dusk. I did it entirely wrong. <laughs> it's a uh, Maiden of the Dusk. It's where all the malignant stuff is from, which uh, has a lot of good gear in, uh, in that set. If you don't have it yet, it's definitely worth going after for every single job. I mean, yeah, you have to do all of Wings of the Goddess to unlock it, which a lot of people hate. <laughs> it's kind of like... I don't really care that much about it because you need to do it for... Um, what's it called? For Moonshade Earring anyway. So I don't, I don't know why people are complaining that much about it. Like, even if you didn't need it for this, you need to get uh, Moonshade an uh, Earring anyway. You're definitely a gimp without it. On every single job. There's no job that doesn't use it.
That I know of, at least. Summoner uses it as well, right? As an idle piece. And a, as an AM piece as well. <laughs> really? Wow. <laughs> That's funny. That sounds horrible. Well, it's at least needed, but it's still useful. Plus, you can uh, Merker on Summoner, right? Summoner get Merker? I think it does. Yeah, it does. And it's really good for Merker as well. Oh, it's augmenting time. Ugh. Uh, not that. This. Merker. Merker is um, a weapon skill that uh, restores your MP, and quite a lot of it as well. The more TP you use for it, the more MP it restores. It's a percentage of your maximum MP as well, so basically what you build for it is a lot of max MP in your gear, plus a Moonshade earring, and it basically restores your full MP every single time you use it. Definitely worth getting. I've used it so much on the Scholar already. Do I actually need still from this guy? I guess it's just Malignant's uh, armor, right? Yeah. I could technically use one more Malignant's bull, but I don't care t that much about it, to be honest. It's like a filler item. So I need the legs, feet, and hands. In which I think feet are the main priority for me. Need to remove uh, or remove a parentheses for Savage Blade 2, fix the FTP crap. I had one in the wrong spot. Oh, I will. I didn't test it out yet, so I'll uh, look into it later. I can run through the code and at least, like, see what's wrong now, though. So there's that as well. Oh, there's the login campaign. A little bit late. Alright. I'm doing the regen just because it makes the fight so much easier. And shell because they uh, have to start off with shell, otherwise they immediately die. going on here. There we go. I was about to say what the fuck's wrong. <laughs> Alright. That seems to make sense, yeah? Wait, what is it now? What is physical damage limit on Malignant Skier? Uh, basically there's a cap to your attack and physical damage limit basically allows you to exceed that cap. So it is very good once you are uh, properly geared. Uh, fuck, I forgot to wait for my Blaze of Glory. Whoops. That's alright. Let's make sure this is in. Ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'll uh, fix it in a bit. Alright, let's wait for Blaze of Glory real quick. Can't have that. Want to make sure I hit uh, 10k helix. It's kind of a long fight without it. There we go, should be good here. So for stuff like Blade Shin, it's really good because it gets a massive attack boost, so it's very easy to cap attack on stuff like that. Anything that gets a massive attack boost, uh, that gear is really good for. 
think they still bursted if I did that correctly, but I didn't do it correctly. Also, it didn't actually cast for some reason. I hate it when it happens, man. It's so annoying. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Still need to work on my scholar simulation. Nice, I think I got it. Yeah, I definitely got it. 39k, that's actually not too bad. Magic damage is much easier to calculate. The only thing I was wondering is the um, on your simulation for for weapon skills, right? You start out with uh, D Dex and D Strength, but I don't see that function being called anywhere else, and I, I don't understand why that is the case. Like, where is it actually used? They are called, but where then? I didn't see it anywhere. Like, I I know they're called, but I just don't know where, I couldn't see it. I control F for, for it and everything. Because I feel like I should be doing that for the int in damage calculation. Really? Maybe I'm just blind then. I think I did this with uh, DH, right? I definitely did now, at least. Alright, final one. Damage calculation and attack calculation. I'll uh, go check those out then. I guess I just missed them. I think it's this guy, right? Yeah. That's a stack of Twilda Mask. I think I'll stop loading, uh, loading those from now on. Alright, cool. I love how consistent this fight is on the with Scholar. It's actually so nice. This is uh, easy. Where she gets Dread Spikes and Charm and everything as well. But since we're using a Trust Tank, that doesn't matter at all. None of that matters. The Dread Spikes is still something I can remove, but since my tr uh, Trust Tanks don't even get any haste, they, d they can't really kill themselves with their Dread Spikes. How is Summoner nowadays? Really strong. Uh, mostly during the one hour window. It's kind of... It's alright outside of it. It's not super good, but not super bad either. There's a lot of people that can do so, uh, really cool stuff with it. But the one hour is the cheesiest thing you can use. Because basically what... Uh, normally you have a 23 second cooldown, I think, for Blood Pacts. And what the second one hour does, it removes all cooldowns. So the whole summoner job is based around that 23 second cooldown. And as soon as you one hour, you can do it every like three seconds. <laughs> so you can imagine how strong that is. Oh yeah, we do need to do one. I forgot about that. Uh, wonder if we can do that right now. I'm game for it tomorrow if you are. Like, I only have like 50 minutes lef uh, left to play, so I don't think now is a good time. We need to do uh, the base gear in as well then, right? Oh, whoops. Maiden, there we go. I have two more runs on me. If I came back, it's probably what I would main that and white mage. White mage is always nice. Everyone loves a white mage, especially if you go for the uh, mythic on white mage. That elevates it to another level. 
probably has pop items. I think I have some pop items. I'm just I'm just not sure which. <laughs> I've done a lot of uh, flot samming, so I, I have a lot of uh, autumn stones and gems of the west and that kind of stuff. I don't know which ones I do have though. Oh, I should uh, reset bog. I didn't do it last time. Wonder if I should drop Aeonix just to have a reason to do those NMs again. I mean, you can just fuck around on Helms or something if you want to. If you're doing a full run though, let me know. I would love to join that. Currently what the um, strategy is, is... Um, so player 2 needs a new Aeonic and so do I. And we already started it, we already did Sita, we need to do most of Ruan now, the latter part of Ruan. And after that it's on to Ryzen Chima, but Thorny wants, uh, wants to help us with uh, Ryzen Chima and Kirin and Walk. So that's like the current plan, but if you're doing a run anyway, we may as well not bother, uh, bother Thorny with that. So if you do want to do that, let me know. Because with Thorny, it's probably a lot of AFKing. <laughs> I don't think we're of that much help on uh, walk and stuff. It's basically gonna be summoner. The cheese. It's the first time I can actually show off uh, what summoner cheese is like on stream. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that's alright. I think that's the the thing I do like about that is that I can finally show off how fucking busted summoner can be, because I'm not I'm never gonna play summoner myself. I think if the one hour was nerfed, I would probably pick it up, but that's not gonna happen. It's SE. Look look at what I did to Red Mage. I'm not nerfing anything. Learned all my summoner stuff from Purgatory. I have no idea who that is. He is a beast. Maybe. I honestly don't know him. Best gear at uh, summoner slash white mage on the server, probably all servers. That's uh, one hell of a claim to make. Damn. What's his uh, solo record? Like, what has he soloed that's impressive? Because, like, gear, the gear is nice, but it doesn't say fuck all about you as a player. In the acumen here. Alright, we should be ready. Go a little bit more to the middle, never mind. This is fine. Dia on Tenebra, make sure that it lands. There we go. Blaze of Glory, Geo Malaise, Ecliptic. Should be good. My rep mage gear just screams he likes uh, his paralyzed procs. That's what it used to scream for me. <laughs> Back at 75 days. Elvan uh, rep mage was really fun at that point. Oh fuck, that was the wrong thing. Whoops. Wonder if I can still pull that off. Ooh, I don't think I can. Oh, that's that's basically 10k. It's like 70 damage short. I'll take that. Let's life cycle this. It actually speeds up the fight, because I get another tier 5 in this way. I'll take it. You have Verve up? Oh, you mean, uh... Oh, wait, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I just need to wait now. It's just a waiting game for strats at this point. 15 seconds. 
I also go emo every time I get a silence resist from a Bard and Dinah from wave 1 and 2. It's kind of funny how you can actually land so much shit from sub jobs on the kind of low BNMs just because of all the magic accuracy gear there is. I used to go slash blue on Dancer for certain fights to remove Thread Spikes with Blank Gaze. And it actually worked very well. <laughs> makes no sense but it just it just works some thought Howard shit right there oh it was I think malaise was down yeah it was whoops All right at this point it's just a tier 3 spam fast so let's just do that I should also dispel I'm fairly sure she might have uh Dark Thorn, that's definitely Dread Spikes. Let's see if we get it. Oh, we got it. Nice. First try. Oh, she had no other effects on her, never mind. Never mooned. Let's uh, kill her then. So let's kill her then. It's actually so fucking annoying. It, it eats my spells here as well. I have no idea why. Like, why is this happening? Feels weird, man. Uh, Arboma. Yeah, may as well. It's quite, ni quite nice that we can do this on easy now. It should uh, be a lot better for farming this. My bards, uh, bards laugh at me how I literally have best slot for Enfeebling and they cast Silence once and it lands. I mean... <laughs> Hi. I mean, if they are still landing Silence for some godforsaken reason, I guess it's fine, but... I, uh, I usually do that with my jobs as well, by the way. Just uh, go completely ham on the most niche things and get the maximum out of it, especially when single boxing. This, uh, this is basically my first time multi boxing on retail with these uh, three accounts, so. I definitely notice that there's. I care less uh, than usual about those niche things. I usually care a lot more, for sure. Alright, final run. Then we're augmenting after. Let's see. Seven minute run apparently, that's not bad. We can actually hard spam this now. I have the uh, AoE for getting merits as well, so it's quite nice. Kinda happy about that. Alright, Arp. Let's get you your slash white mage here. Reset that uh, bulk cooldown real quick. Not even using my uh, <laughs> refresh uh, Garonic slippers yet. Should probably uh, add that in a bit. Maiden of the Dusk, easy, definitely. What did the um, the mobs at N, what did they actually do? I forgot what they're called. Gives, not Gives, no, the Spite Wardens. What do they actually do? Do they stand still? Do they cast shit or... Twelve out of twelve junk. 
That's pretty usual. <laughs> they attack you. Do they hit hard? Can you enfeeble them? What, what's like... You reckon I can kill them? With one uh, magic burst or something like that? You could probably duo end that way. If I focus on Lilith and you focus on the uh, Spite Wardens. I'm up for trying that sometime. Is this my last run? Yeah, it is. What's up, dude? Got the Cull Menace. Feels good, man. And uh, it's uh, very consistent doing this on easy. So far, at least. Definitely enjoying myself here. You can cheese it a bit with the tank dropping party and using Call for help. What does it actually do? Oh, wow, really? That is super cheesy. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> one of the Beatles. Rip. I fell out of the attic. How do you even fall out of the attic? You're a special little boy. Oh, Snowflake. Nah, no, that's that's uh, USA. Only USA says that. Yeah, I like it. You like it? Yeah, because it's snowy. You like it because it's snowy. <laughs> you should say it because it's winter, alright. You're a special little snowflake, Shirai. Oh, that's a very early... Uh, Dark Thorn, let's get rid of that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. Just don't call for help on Lilith or she, you don't get drops. Yeah, that seems like the one thing that can happen and would actually <laughs> fuck you over. Not a little bit either. Damn, that would suck. Lupin is still up. Alright. Time to tier 3 a little bit here. Hi, Rain's girlfriend. <laughs> oh, it still works. Try putting Christmas decoration in attic by myself without wanting help. I mean... Kinda did it yourself, then yeah. You tried putting Christmas decoration up and fell out of the attic. I'm not sure how that part happens, but it did. Do I actually have MP for that? I do. Uh oh. He almost died there. Let's give him a full cure here. Went up in sight. Letters fell. <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the normal reaction to that for sure. I agree with that. Tried reaching for the back on side and fell. Rip. Um, Chuchu is taking a fucking beating. Is he even doing that much damage? Maybe it doesn't have shell. Could be that. Oh! Malignant's Paul again. Rip. Find Malik. Uh, find Paul actually. I know this one has one. Uh, this one doesn't have one yet. I'll take it. Why not? 
Uh, we got a drop. It's not the drop uh, we wanted, but it is a drop. That's two drops within uh, within 75 merits, though. That's quite nice. I'll take that. So we have three malignant spells now. I guess I should use that actually on this guy. There we go. Huh? Uh huh. Yeah. Good. Yeah, boy, yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's fucking Animal Crossing, god damn it. Alright, let's do some Aquans here. So, rain question. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> you know how I done a wager on Fortnite the other day? Yeah. Oh, it's the same guy challenging you again. Free money, dude, do it. Turns out the kid was only 14 and is wanting to give me 50 quid. Yeah? What's the problem here? Is it a dick move to take the money even though he's 14? No. He needs to learn that he shouldn't wage. He shouldn't make bets if he doesn't want to lose the money. He should learn. Welcome to the real world. 14 is old enough to know that. Yeah. Weapon skill damage plus 5, magic attack bonus plus 16. Huh. Well, skipping that. <laughs> He is trying to give me it. I may feel bad if I take it. Don't feel bad, dude. He is 14. At 14, I knew what a fucking wager was. And so does he. Might take that. Damage minus 3. I don't think uh, Scholar has very good options in uh, Blob Slot for that. Let me check that real quick. Hands. Damage taken. 119 only. Artsy cuffs and that's pets. Yeah, that's actually pretty good then. I'll take that. I'm fairly sure you can get higher than that though. On the normal ox, let's see. Oseem, Chironic, damage taken, minus three. Yeah, that's something you can already get. I'll uh, augment over it then. It's not bullying, dude. He told, like, he waged the war, like, he he put a wager against you, right? You didn't put a wager against him. He's the one who instigated. He's wise and old enough. I think it's bullshit. He offered the wager, he wants to do it. Fine, do it then, and you lose your money. That's fine. That's completely okay. Do I take that? I don't know if that's better than my Helios. Uh, Helios Gloves is probably better. Magic Accuracy plus 27. What can I get on Helios? It's not robbing, dude. Fuck off. Bullshit. That's not robbing. Robbing is... Fucking slapping him across the head and taking his money. That's robbing. Talking, <laughs> 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 uh, talking is hard. I know, I know. <laughs> that was funny. Manipula mani 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 manipulating. Have you have you ever had a have you dream have you have you have you ever have you ever had a dream where have you have you ever had a dream where you do think like you could do anything? <laughs> That's what bullying is. <laughs> cradle robber in different sense. I mean, he's a cradle robber, but that, that has nothing to do with this.
I 10 nilled him. What kind of bullying is that? He thought he was better than you, and he put a bet on it without even seeing what you play like. That's that's not robbing, mate. That's being that's being a dumbass. And being a dumbass must be punished. My friend and I had a get rich quick scheme when we had uh, when we were really good at Yu-Gi-Oh card game and challenge kids to play and when they lose they uh, take their rarest and best card and sell that shit. I didn't really sell it, but I did the same fucking thing. I had one combo that was just fucking disgusting. It was really easy to get rid of it, but most people I played against didn't know what the... Like, most of them just used monsters, right? There was one card that uh, made both players lose 100 HP, then 200, then 400, then 800, etc. So it was a deck with that, a lot of counter spells, and a lot of self-heal. And you, you just won. And a lot of uh, flip cards, like uh, Man Eater Bug, that kind of shit. It, this is when, uh, yeah, Dark Snake Syndrome, that's the one. That's the one. This was when uh, Yu-Gi-Oh was fairly new as well. I, I actually, like, tripled my deck size with that. <laughs> Which was funny. I don't even know if my Yu-Gi-Oh cards are worth anything. I don't think they are. Uh, either in my drawer at my parents' house, or there, my uh, little sister took them. Either of those two. I don't, I don't know if I have treasure hunter on this guy already. Uh, that's awkward. Fifty nine psychic energy, one Mewtwo on every game. <laughs> Very, very dirty Yu-Gi-Oh was a scumbag. I mean, I felt like a scumbag when uh, playing that. Ugh. Worthless. Oh, we didn't get anything good. Rip. Let's uh, try Tenebra and we're done here. Oh, whoops. Trade. Still have my Valorous Mill that I don't care about. 5.2 days of doing salvage. Doing salvage 24 7. That's uh, impressive, my dude. Kappa. Oh, snow. I want snow. I used to hide cards and cheat with Exodia pieces. <laughs> wow, that, that is actually dirty, yeah. That's like straight up cheating though. I drink a lot of Mountain Dew. Oh yeah, that's fair, that's fair. I saw a fat guy slip on snow yesterday. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I can't imagine that. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't even have to be a fat, a fat guy, but it does make it funnier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. It does make it funnier. There's no denying that. I mean, it's better. Fine, we'll take it. Uh, that's not what I want, but whatever. All right, we got the we got TH four now with only two pieces. I think I wasn't even. Supposed to do that. Yeah, we have the H4 now. Well, technically, we, uh, like, we don't even have the belt and we have the H4 at this point. Huh. That's awkward. You cracked the ice, I think. <laughs> Big chunker fucking earthquake. Did he slide like four seconds before, uh, before he fell? I think like the slide after someone falls is funny as fuck as well. When someone is has like a little bit of momentum and he falls, he just like like you can see they're in great pain, but their body keeps sliding downhill a little bit. Oh my god, so good. I shouldn't be as happy <laughs> as I am when I see that. <laughs> like it could happen to me as well, but it just <laughs> it's just fucking funny, man. I slide on mud more than ice. What kind of swamp do you live in? If 
fucking swamp rat. Uh, let's see here. Mm. Man, I really need those that Malkui piece. That's all I want to do this fucking ambu for at this point. I told Katu once uh, in LS I was taking dog out and I fucking slipped on my arse. On one of those banana slips. Oh yeah, I've had those happen to me. On wet grass as well. Wet grass is the fucking worst. It's so slippery. Yeah, or mud. It's. I think wet grass is usually more the case for me though. Because I don't expect it every time. Because I'm a dumbass. Like, oh, this is fine. And I know it. <laughs> Countryside uh, kind of thing. Yeah, it makes sense. There will be a lot of mud there. He's a fucking mud slime. Uh, fuck, where am I going? Son of Sonori, I guess. Hey, kitty. Chat requires me to pet you. You're okay with it, right? Yeah, she's okay with it. Man, her eyelids are fucking weird. Yeah, well, the sideways eyelid was closed just now, so, like, I saw it open. <laughs> it's really weird. I don't know why I reminded you about the fat dude slipping, now I'm chuckling thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even see it and I'm chuckling too, so... I guess... I guess we're e equally, e equally horrible people. <laughs> Right, I need to do some inventory management here. Ugh. The worst part of the game. Uh, that thing. That thing. That thing and that thing. Where's my liquefaction orbs? Oh, it wasn't wet, I guess. Uh, there's also some stuff I need to put in here. Let's see. That thing. That thing. Not those things. And that thing. Also need to give this to this guy. Oh my god, there's actually so much fucking inventory. I have to do it like once in a while, but I really don't feel like it. Actually, I, I can keep those, that's fine. There we go. It's an HP piled. Uh, let's see, let's put that shit in mock sack for now. I accidentally got misanthropy as well, I don't know what to do with it. I kind of want to drop it. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't, though. I feel like I shouldn't. Oh, fuck. That wasn't supposed to go there. No. There we go. This goes in there. I guess this goes in there as well for now. I'm not using that anytime soon. Those as well. Actually, I might, may as well put that in it as well. The uh, heroism crystals, etc. I want to sell those beastman medals. I don't have anyone to uh, sell them to, though. You can add AM3 check to weapon skills too if you want. Really easy add. This AM3 AM3 doesn't work on weapon skill though, does it? I don't think it does. I guess you mean mythic, but I'm fairly sure that doesn't work. Wait, it does? How did I not know that? I have a mythic. <laughs> I didn't know it did. How the fuck did I get a Valorous mask on this guy? God damn it. Personal drop, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, just only on the main weapon. Uh, hit check. That makes sense. That makes sense. Got some dusted in in here as well. Why not? Pretty sure I have enough of those. Can't remember on which, but I do know I have a lot of them, so I'll just toss this. There we go. See, this guy's at 58, that's fine. I'm okay with that. This guy's at 59, that's fine as well. What's this guy at now? 59? Oh. We're pretty much set. Alright, let's uh, start uh, making some money here. Do I play Daisy or Rainbow Six Siege? I've never really played Rainbow Six Siege, but it looks really fun. As far as shooters go, I don't really like shooters in general, but... It does look pretty fun, that game. It's like a better Counter-Strike. That's what it looks like to me. Some shit. I met a modern gay, a modern day Karen, met an anti masker. My guy was trying to argue mask prevent you from breathing. I lost a few brain cells. You probably lost a few brain cells as well because you can't breathe, Kappa. That's horrible though. I hate that. I don't fucking get anti-maskers. <laughs> nah, not really either. The only thing I get about anti-vax is when there's a new vaccine, because there are some stories uh, out there. You know what? Uh, in, uh, yeah. Were... No, the school uh, you went to as well. Yeah. School you went to with the, uh, the hormone uh, thing. You had like a vaccination thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from, from school, school. Oh, I thought it was cool. Oh, like that, yeah. But what I wanted to tell you, uh. um, in Germany there is overdoses of the new vaccine. Overdose of the new vaccine? Yeah, there are about 515 as for the coronavirus that are overdosed, but try to be in the... Yeah, but that's just human error, that's just yeah. stupid. Yeah, but that's also like... That's just really fucking dumb. So apparently some people OD'd on the new vaccine because they got five times the required amount because of some dumbass human applying it. Yeah, not knowing how, how much to apply. That is pretty stupid. I don't really believe any stories anymore though because the internet is fucking full of bullshit anyway. So I don't even know if that's true. Huh? Oh, that looks nice. Let's, uh, let's see what a new resident is. Today I learned that COVID is fake and it's just people dying of natural causes at 42 years old. <laughs> it's a pretty cool, cool guy. Yeah. yeah. Like a scary one, so yeah, it makes sense. I shit you not, people think that. Yeah. Wow. I'm like, I want to be surprised, I really do, but. Like, yeah, so basically, I've, I've had this motto my, in, 
like not my entire life, but starting when I was like 17 or something, where I just told myself people are retarded. And the reason I did that is because I had a very hard time dealing with people in general. Like I, I just couldn't deal with people and stupid actions. So I made that motto for myself because it makes me it makes it easier for me to live with it. It's just like whenever something happens I can give it a reason. So when 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 someone when someone like like runs across a plane of ice and slips, I'm I'm not like why? I'm like, oh, people are retarded and that's that's the reason, right? So I eventually <laughs> eventually to my mistake told my mother about this uh, when I was younger. And she gave me a whole thing about people aren't stupid, they're just uh, differently abled and some people are better at this thing and some people are better at that thing and I tried to live to that. And then the whole COVID thing happened, I'm like, no, people are actually retarded. <laughs> I was right all along and it feels fucking good to admit that. They are actually fucking retarded. And there's no other way to say it. There's no nice way of bringing it either. It's just how it is. And that's... Like, it's fine, I guess. You can't do anything against it. But it is 100% true. <laughs> uh, there's being not good at something. And then there's being Ronstadt, Ronstadt level of retarded IRL. <laughs> I fucking love that analogy. Oh, that's great. Just so you guys know, Vitality is better for a Paladin to build, you don't need damage taken. Nice. You don't need that shit at all, you just need Vitality on Paladin, Kappa. My god, he, he was arguing with the entirety of Asura with that and he meant it as well, it was great. You can't be that stupid, you'd say that right, like I don't understand. Which is why I have that motto. <laughs> Because I do, I legit do not understand how someone's like can't do basic critical thinking. I just don't fucking understand it. I would love to understand it because it makes me like, like, oh, it's just an error in evolution or something like that, you know? But I just don't understand. Yeah, I feel like uh, there's like Darwinism going on here or something. I understand someone may not know about uh, how to work out the circumference of a circle. That's not that's not what it is, though. It's basic human thinking. Like kind of curious about that. It's an oval retard. <laughs> ah, good response, good response. That was funny. <laughs> I haven't added camo. Do it, dude. I'm curious now. Wait, so it's camo with uh, Shun then? That's interesting as well. I mean, it makes sense with AM, uh, AM3 up. So yeah, safe to say I have my laughs today with an anti-masker. My dream was as good as I hoped. Yeah, I can't imagine that. Sounds horrible to me, so it's probably good. <laughs> that actually does sound horrible, man. Oof. Imagine thinking like that. I would love to lose my shit against a person like that. I'll do it like this for now. Nagai uh, shouldn't get similar results to Aishi if you are uh, for sure capping attack. But you can more reliably use 4 out of 5 malignants with Nagai as far as for, uh, var uh, variants goes. Yeah, that makes sense. Gets a lot of extra multi attack. Uh, it's definitely more reliable. The variance on the on Haishi Shun would actually be pretty fucking funny to do. I, I bet it would feel like a crit weapon skill with four out of five malignants. 
I would use Moonshade with Nagi though. Aren't you supposed to use Moonshade with both? Unless you're for sure capping attack. Even if you are though, like Malignant's makes that cap a lot higher now. With a pretty low attack job like Ninja, it seems like you need to use Moonshade anyway. I haven't really tested non Moonshade builds yet. I just assumed. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoops. Macaron. There we go. Tried so hard not to laugh at this guy and call him a brainlet. I mean, oh fuck, wrong NPC. You can easily add variants, uh, anything you need to, res uh, to the results list. Oh yeah, definitely. It takes an average already, so it's fairly easy to do. It's probably a fun thing to do though, add the variance, see how much it can uh, vary. Makes you able to see whether it's a good way to uh, go about gearing something as well, because if the variance is very high, you shouldn't do it. And just use Numpy, what is Numpy exactly? Anything that scales with DP uh, will always use Moonshade. Yeah, but Shun is kind of weird because its attack scales with DP, not the FTP modifier. So it's not always the best option. Was I not cap sparks on this guy? I guess not. Damn. Am I cap sparks on this guy? Huh. Shun, you don't. It kind of depends. If you're not capping attack, you should, and if you're not cap uh, if you are capping attack, you shouldn't. Shen gets some pretty good results, to be honest, especially with mal malignant gear. It's a very good malignant gear user. Which requires a lot more attack that way, so it makes Moonshade a little bit, a little bit more viable for it as well. Depending on your buffs and your target and everything, of course. Oh yeah, I still need sparks. I'll give it a go. I guess I need a little bit more... Uh, sparks still. That's alright. I'll get it later. Huh? No, I have not. Yeah, I'll do that in a bit after stream. I should probably look for uh, uh, Bodo as well. See if I can get that somewhere. Because I'm fairly sure I'm going to get uh, redirected to it. Still need to get my PayPal unblocked. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about it, yeah, that makes sense. I'll, uh, I don't really care about pops right now, I'll just do this. If I want pops, I can just get some sparks on one of the other characters. I will I uh, take this kid's money without PayPal? I don't know, dude. Oh, naturel, I guess. Kappa. Don't do that, that's a felony. I'm still pissed my PayPal can't block because of Facebook. Yeah, well, I mean, you kind of did that yourself, right? Adding uh, and dividing ourselves, we had, uh, append the results to a list. And we can just and be mean list. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's quite nice, actually. Just saves you trouble. I am so used to doing all that shit uh, on my own, though. Like, I, I am not used to letting functions handle that on their own. <laughs> like, pre-made functions, that is. 
I am allowed to create a chatbot on Facebook. They let you do it. They gave you an API to do it. Didn't you mess with packets? That's why we use Python for this. That makes sense, yeah. I'm just not used to it yet. That's mostly the uh, issue for me. I uh, acknowledge that it's better. <laughs> and a little faster. All right, we currently have 21 mil. How much are Amalric hands? Let's see. Amalric gauges. I think that's the first item I want to get here. Huh? Yeah, that's quite nice. The uh, Amalric slops aren't really good until we get another plus one item anyway. Let's see how much they are. 17 mil right now. How much were Jinx slops? 16 mil. God, I really want to get those as well. Maybe I should, sh should just shout for it and try to uh, cheap out on it. Oh, you messed with packets on uh, 11. Uh, then I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, Rickpedia. Look, look, we got something today. Fucking pug. Me happy. I managed to uh, solo Lilith on easy very reliably now. It's quite nice. That's why I'm confused. Yeah, I can imagine that, that that's what makes you confused. Makes no sense. I get it then. Get it. Get the thing. That thing. The outfit. Check for our current active skill chain and if window is uh, cast time then off your next spell then uh, use the next spell. That makes sense. I wouldn't even know how to fucking find a packet, dude. Are the Archangels strong to magic? Can't remember. <laughs> wow, I have so much fashion sense, he says. Lol. You're funny. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> does anyone does anyone know that? Whether the uh Shut up. Whether the Archangels have like a certain weakness or strongness against elements? You're weak. Uh Ruin Gardens three. Let's uh let's just try it, whatever. Darkness weak? We can't use Daybreak for that shit, God damn it! Darkness or Thunder? I could use some tier 1 helix spells, I guess, and see which one does most. Let's do that. Doing one more fight, and then we're done. Uh, this one, 3. Don't think they do. In that case, I'm just gonna use Lum Lumino Helix. Uh, the Mithra for the deed, uh, monthly deed thing, since I want to get my pulse weapon next month. Elvancho's weakest to light. Huh. I'm surprised, he used a lot of light magic. That's weird. Uh, Archangel 3... I only need to do it very easy now, anyway, I can check there. It's just for deeds, I don't really need anything from this guy. So I'm not taking any risks. Especially since I don't have merits anymore. <laughs> 
noob. What's up, man? <laughs> I can live with uh, live with that. Being called a noob. You are? Wow. Wow. You have info on almost all stuff except magic resistances for everything or more obscure stuff. What the fuck are you even doing with your life, man? Get it. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I hyped him up. What game is this? So uh, Final Fantasy 14 minus 3. It's pretty good. It's about 3 less than 14 though. Magic Resist is one of the easier things to find, just do tier 1 skill chains. Looks old. Of course it is. We are old. We're all boomers here. PS1. Uh, excuse me, it's PS2 graphics. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's actually PS2. Uh, well, I mean, not anymore, I guess, but it used to be. This It came out on the PS2. Which is kind of funny. Alright, let's uh, storm here. I guess I'll just do a full rotation and see how much damage everything does. Why not play a real game like RuneScape, bro? Mate. Are you implying I don't play RuneScape? What the fuck, dude? Iron Man, by the way. there. Slap. Yeah, that's good. Uh, in the acumen. Cool grass. That sounds like my, my jam, dude. There we go. Let's try uh, a light skill chain here. Huh? Oh yeah, that ma makes sense. Ooh, yeah, this is definitely weak to light, for sure. Ouch. Dude, stop it. Even interrupted skill chain and still did that much. Stop hitting me! Yeah, you are. <laughs> Alright, let's do that again in a bit. <laughs> Stop it! Stop hitting me! You're polite, Mr. Reinhardt. Yeah, I am. It's uh, 5 uh, p.m. right now. Very late. I need to go to bed soon. Alright, let's try it again. Traded my shit to a seaman froze. Maybe I broke weapon skill damage plus 99. Fucking hope not, because that means you lost it. Why does the reg like tier 1 helix nuke for <laughs> fucking 6.5k? I don't care about that shit. Alright, we got the deeds, that's what we did it for. Holy fuck my life, what the fuck is this? What happened? Did Maga screw you over?
I'm waiting for my plant now. Oh yeah, I already did my plants. I'm uh, I'm done with this now, I think. Yeah. I still need to do some other stuff though. I still need to do trove shit. Reef and Dyna participation. I can actually go into Dyna. Zoop. <laughs> What the fuck is this Discord? Okay, wait. Let's see Discord. What you got? Yo, take those. That's Pog. Do it. That's cool for a blue mage if you ever make it. Or ninja. Pretty much that's the only shit it uses that though. Alright. Take it, dude. Take it. Gonna head off, fam. Peace, bud. Alright, see you later, man. I'm gonna head off in a bit as well. Uh, is anyone in chat streaming anytime soon? Let's see. Because I don't think there's anyone else I can host here. Nope. <laughs> Literally no one. Alright. Let's, uh, let's host some RuneScape uh, streamer, uh, streamer for Kado. He wants to see RuneScape. I've been too tired to stream. Feels bad, man. Yeah, it makes sense. I've been wondering why I had an increase in viewers the last few days. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, most people during the whole Christmas debacle got tired. Which makes sense. That shit is very tiresome sometimes. This year was super chill. I usually get really tired about with Christmas as well. Eating too much, being social for two days, which is all, like a lot. <laughs> Way too much, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, we did eat quite a lot. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to uh, show you a true PS1 graphics game. Just need someone to uh, host here. Hardcore Iron Man Max Grind. Oh boy. That's where, like, the entire world comes down to. After you've answered all the questions and there's only one remaining, what is the purpose of life? It's being an Iron Man. There's actually so many people. There's so many RuneScape, RuneScape uh, streamers. And there's so little people actually watching, <laughs> it's fucking funny. Yeah, <laughs> the to total amount of viewers right now is 4.4k and that's like across several hundred streams I think. Or at least a hundred. I don't even know these people though. That's a shame. Sire completion. Okay, we'll do that one. Hardcore Iron Man. Perfect. Great name as well. Mutz. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I hope you all enjoyed the show. I'm uh, going to get some uh, food in a bit. And... Uh, Consider leaving a follow if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine too. I don't really care that much. Um, if you want to see any of these uh, uh, full streams on YouTube, you can. There's a link for that in my Twitch bio. So I'm uploading every single stream I do on there. I didn't enjoy. Well, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> 
Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you all later, man. Hope you have a good one. And say hi to uh, Mutz for me.